Dude, I can't believe he's still sleeping, man. This boggles my mind. <laughs> Dude, he, he passed me up, man. He totally passed my record. Ryan. Ryan. Frank. Frank. Welcome. What's Whoa. up, dude? Sorry, James. What are you guys doing on? Dude, it's Monday night. Monday? Yeah. Oh, shit. I better Slept. call the office. <laughs> Slept yeah. a weekend away. <laughs> they, they, you might want to do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Monday? Yeah. You don't remember Sunday? Oh, I don't at all. What shit. I want to know is, did you have to mute Brian? Was he just sawing logs? Or as Bobby likes to say, snores more. <laughs> <laughs> no? All right. All right. Good answer. Yeah. What's up, party people? <laughs> Welcome to Enter the Realm, episode 134. The Realm of Collectors video podcast. Pull a chair up to the cool table, a group of like-minded shows and podcasts featuring Enter the Realm, Shattercast Uncut, Nerd Rage Radio, Plastic Fanatics, Figa Bangin', Beer and Bolters 40K, 8 Weeks, Stasis Lock, Toy Detox, Building Up To It, Fresh Communication, and Breaking the Mold. Check out music from Cobra Law Records. Nathan Haskell's Of Cabbages and Kings is now available on his band camp. You can send your what's in the fucking box and shelf life videos to into the realm cast at gmail.com. Our Facebook is Realm of Collectors. Our Instagram is at Realm of Collectors. Jesus Christ, man, I have the loudest children. Uh, ha- make sure you follow hashtag Realm of Collectors. Our website is realmcollectors.com where you can check out the blog and pick up some merch. If you're listening to us on an audio format, give us a five star rating because that's what's all the cool kids are doing. This episode is brought to you by Agabus.com. Agabus is the official e-tailer partner of the Roma Collectors. Visit Agabus.com today for all of your masterpiece and third-party needs. $5.95 flat rate shipping, free shipping on orders over $150, price matching with other online retailers and Agabucks, your same as cash rewards system. Make a purchase, earn points to use towards your next purchase. Visit Agabus.com for details. In stock this week is DX Bike Robo, uh, Thunder Magnus, and the Zeta Brawl, and the Dry Rub decals are still in stock. A very popular item. My name is Chris Pinkerton, if you're nasty. Joining me tonight is the Jackal Squad. Going across the bottom of my Google Hangout screen, coming up first, the Brinkalizer or the Sleepalizer. Snorlizer? I don't know. Brian Brink, ladies and gentlemen. You can call me Rip Van Winkleizer if you want. Nice. I dig it. I'm well rested. I Rip did, Van did, did Brinkle. Brinkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you guys have a good weekend? It was busy. Yeah. Busy weekend. Good. It was extra okay. Day off for most of us, I hope. Uh, no. Nope. 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 Coming up next, my very own personal thunder thief, the biggest heel in the business, young Daniel. Uh, I think you take that uh, spot there, Chris. You're a lot larger than I. Yeah, well, you know. There's got to be heels in Lucha Libre, too. <laughs> Speaking of Lucha Libre, coming up next is Jay Roos. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, that just kind of happened. <laughs> hey, hey, and I responded like, uh, okay. like it was natural. Hey. No, no problem. Huge in Puerto Rico, so. Uh, there you go, luchador. Uh, up next is the man who probably is the furthest thing we have on the panel from a luchador, Jisk. Uh, yeah, what's happening? I don't have anything clever to say about that. Just say you run things. I run things. You run things. Book, book, book. The chicken wing godfather, the rock father himself. That's mites. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, everybody? That was so much fun. We're going to do it one more time in a little segment. I like the call. What'd you get? Brian, I know you might have to turn your brain on a little bit. It's been a couple days of sleep here, but uh, tell the good people out there in YouTube and podcast land, what'd you get? All right. Besides uh, catching 50 Zs or whatever, I also caught a Powder Primes Optimus in the wild. I haven't opened it yet. Might be for sale in two weeks. Who sees? Who knows? 
but uh, let's see. And also, um, I picked up some of uh, those little Halo Mega Constructs things, which uh, when I finally get uh, my Diaclone Reboot stuff on, up on the shelf, it'll look good with them, I think. And uh, I got also a Mega Constructs little bender, Futurama bender. That was pretty cool. How much did that run you, Brian? Um, I forget. That was the largest amount of money I spent at Toys R Us in a long time, which I hope to recuperate in two weeks. But uh, nice. I think I think they're around like five to ten, somewhere in the middle there. So I'll have to keep an eye out for those Futurama ones. Yeah, Fry is out as well. Yeah, nice. Futurama is a dope show. All right, uh, young Daniel, what'd you get? Yes, sir. Uh, not much. Shout out to the post office for getting my shit here a week later than it should have. But I got a uh, a print from a guy on Instagram of the uh, ow ow. So, sorry, I was getting bit. Of the you uh, God of Destruction keep. of Universe Eleven from Dragon Ball. You shouldn't All keep the boys under the table. I was gonna say. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you beat me to this it. little God. shit. Mm -hmm. So. What's up, little shit? Ow! That cat doesn't look one. like a dick. He was like, what the fuck you want? <laughs> What's up? I said, cat. bitch. You can tell he's been hanging out with Dan. Yeah. <laughs> is, that it? Is, that, is that it? Heal That's Dan? it. All right. Is... Uh, La Luchador. What'd you get? Wait, which one? Who, oh, me? <laughs> what did I get? Yeah, that's, I got that's the segment. That's the segment. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was text. I was text being texted by my employees. Um, I got man. Fuck your employees. employees. Yes, I, fuck I, you're, you're off the clock. I got who's this one? This one is Rumble. Frenzy. Rumble. Well, yeah, Rumble. 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 Rumble is blue. Rumble. Uh, Frenzy. Fuhrer. I got Fuhrer. Man, and and I got Riot. Riot. So, so. Rumble. Yeah, right. Dude, those Fucking, things look damn good, man. Dude, I fucking love them. Hey, let me ask you a question, Jerry. Yeah. Have you, have you turned them on and put them in your pants? No, not yet. Okay. That's, 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 that's um, it yeah, ass. light a candle tonight and uh, <laughs> Rope, romantically pulverize your genitals. It's going to pound his crawling. You remind me of my ball sack. <laughs> it's going to pound his yam bag. Just prop, prop, prop. Slide it down the back of my pants and hit the button. Bag. <laughs> Yam bag. Yep, that's uh, that's what I got. I got that from Hanny. Um, I'm gonna shake up that coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> what do you beat up this the speed bag? Yeah. Um, no, I got it from Hanny. So nice, you guys. Check it out. He, he has them in stock. Awesome. So. Um, that is that your first time buying from Hanny? Tell us about that experience. No, I bought it. No, I, bought, just, I bought from him before. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, not often enough. Not as often as I should, but I, I bought from him before. I'm going to continue shopping there. I dig it. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Good Move, moving down the line here. Jisk, what'd you get? So I got uh, Justice League. I bought the digital version of Justice League. Sorry. Yeah. That no, was all right. What Honestly, man, the worst thing about that movie is the fucking the the CG, dude. It's so bad, and not even just Superman shit. Just like Steppenwolf looked fucking bad, and there's one scene like where they're fighting Superman, you know, and like Wonder Woman's like trying to like she's got his, her lasso around him, and she's leaning up against the steps of this fucking sh like statue thing, and it just looks fucking terrible. And there's just a lot of things like that that just look bad to me. So. I saw it yesterday as well on uh, the Cody, and I actually liked it more the second time around. Yeah, I didn't think it was terrible, man. I thought Cyborg was dope, and I think I think all the people looked like were good. I just think they looked dumb. Like that's my yeah. Problem Cyborg just, looked you know, terrible. Yeah. Cyborg was the worst part. See, for, I like the, the way Cyborg. The movie, I think. That might have been one of my favorite parts. Even Batman, like, I, and I think I I don't know if I hit you guys up about this too, but I was like, I feel like they do. I feel like it's a disservice. Oh yeah, because Brink answered like a disservice having Batman so old when he finally meets these dudes. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Like I agree. Know, with I that just too. think like I feel like it would have been way better if he was just young. He, he makes a comment about that in the movie too. Yeah, and he's like, I can't do it anymore. And, yeah, and then he says, I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I think yeah. um, I really hope they do do that like Flashpoint where they just redo it all with Flash. Surprisingly, dude, Aquaman actually wasn't. Wasn't half bad. 
Oh, he wasn't, but he wasn't I mean, half good. My man. I mean, except for yeah. my man. <laughs> except for when he's uh, you know, when he surfs that fucking parademon through the building, but yeah, that was so little, bad. That was a little. He, that's like he Schumacher whips his hair bad. around like this. He goes, whips his hair, <laughs> jumping uh, the shark a little bit. Yep. Yeah, but um, it's cool. And then what else did I get? Um, I think that's it. Oh, we, I bought you know. If you, if you guys are Disney fans, Coco, the digital version of the new Pixar it, movie. You know, maybe maybe I'm just out of the loop on stuff like that. But it seems to me like a lot of these Pixar movies, used, they used to make a lot bigger impact. It's like, And now they come out and like before I even realize it, they're out on the video. I think because... I, I didn't realize that it come out of the theater. Like, like technology's the kind of caught up. So yeah. all the other companies are kind of at that same level now that they're at. But their stories are good. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you still know how to tell a fucking story, which is what's, I think, the key thing about it. No, Coco I enjoy the Hawaiian girl. No, no that's Moana. And that's not Pixar. That's just a Disney movie. Like, yeah. even the Disney movies now look like Pixar movies. Right. So Coco, similar to, Coco. similar to, like, the Book of Life. It's, like, a, it centers around, like, you know. Is that uh, like the, the whole Day, day of the Dead? Yeah. Like, the Day of the Dead. Hey, Coco. he's a pro wrestler. Coco will be running Lucha Libre. And I think, I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something, but it don't matter. All right, Dust. What'd you get? Yo, uh, I got nothing. Anybody got it ready? God damn it. No. Order some stuff, but nothing got here yet. Just think about next week when you'll be like, dude, I got this, 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 and this. I got everything. I am very tempted on getting those cassettes, though. They're good. They look fucking good. They look good, man. And that's the thing, like, especially like, I don't know if you guys have seen. Bobby's review, but when he had put them just with the Decepticons and they looked good, and then he he showed the original Takara ones, and he realized like, ooh, yeah, that was a good move to yeah, do. Yeah, that. you're like, damn man, yeah, you know, I was right there. That's like, boom, you have yep. to. You have I was to. out on those guys, but I put them on display last month, and I was like, oh, that's right. Thank God, there's replacements coming. So yeah, I don't look right. I still think their birds are too big. Like, man, they should have yeah. made. Yeah, honestly, laser beaks fine. I think the size. That he is. I, I think thought, I thought uh, Ravage was too big too. Just, to, <coughs> just do you think watch. they're gonna do the um, the Autobot cassettes? Might as well. I, I hope we'll they do. I mean, it's basically the same mold as the Frenzy and Rumble. Yeah, but I want really like cool. a bigger like ram horn dude, and I want a bigger fucking steel jaw. Is that what that dude's name is? Yeah, dude, all those things are in my chug cabinet. They they need to make them this size. <laughs> Your chug cabinet. Yep. Uh, yes. E Prime said the birds are too big. E Prime. Everybody's fucking so, tired today. So we always we always people. say, you know, people always say if there if there was one, you know, there's a there's a fire and you can grab one thing out of your collection, what would you grab? If the obstacle uh, question is if there was one thing you wouldn't grab, um Jay Rose, would that be your chuck cabinet just as a whole? I would just leave it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Later. Yeah, that is more fun. You're like, what wouldn't you grab? I wouldn't grab, <laughs> I wouldn't grab the KFC cassettes. My oldest children. I we wouldn't know, grab. We know, Chris, we know Chris wouldn't grab his cat. <laughs> oh, it's not my cat. <laughs> Fucking. Savage. I wouldn't grab the DX9 Astro Train. I'd leave that to burn. Yeah. Wait. Oh. No, well, right. two for one special here. An intro and a what'd you get? Making his victorious. <laughs> see what I did in return <laughs> from. Earlier, Victory Saber 77. James with us. What's up? So tell the good people out there in the internet world, what'd you get? What'd I get? Um, well, from you guys, I got the fans project Diclone Severo and Pinchar. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Happy Sorry. birthday. How how is Pinchar not a bad isn't that a bad isn't that a bad word in Spanish? No, it means to pinch. Oh, <laughs> does it really? Yeah, it does. You don't know. Yeah, speak Spanish. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's an okay figure. I'm just glad that it's done. And I got it's all done. The over. It's over. A fans project can now burn. Um, <laughs> are those the ones that go rest, with those? Um, those uh, <laughs> didn't they make like drivers for that? Yes. Yeah, their die clone series, the TFCon exclusive, they all had the die clone. So now you have all the drivers and all the yeah, that's cool, man. Are that's those nice are those the same ones that were the piggy banks? I know they're not really piggy banks, but they look no. like piggy banks. No, uh, that's something completely different. That's the uh, that's something. That's totally the different. Dino King. That's okay, the, with yeah. the pretender shells, right, or whatever yeah. they were. 
Yeah. I don't know. They look like people. they look like something you get if you ever been to the LA Zoo when you put the quarter in the machine and it makes the wax mold out of like. Yes. The dude, it's funny. I was moving some stuff around in the garage. I found a box of old crap, and there was like a um a, a gorilla, like I'd gotten at a zoo somewhere. One of those that it melted and deformed and broken. <laughs> The box said he could see his reflection on your head. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I, I mean, I honestly, Deluxe, I think you get a prize for being the first one to make a smart ass comment about my head. Mm. He gets a can of spam. That's uh, right. No, he hey, just that's wants the, that's the Arkansas wants... that's the Arkansas State bird dust. Oh, is it? <laughs> can, 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 can of spam? spam. I, I, <laughs> as his prize, he wants three hundred more subscribers. So. If oh, y'all are listening and you're not subscribed, go look up Hail Hasbro Review. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Hail Hasbro. All right. Got what else you get, Jane? Um, you guys also got me the Zolicon 2018 Thunder, which was a nice surprise. Thunder. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, and then Yep, that's cool. <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I was going to tell, the, I was gonna tell the story, but uh, you know what? I think James time. Go for it. I think y'all should tune in the Plastic Fanatics and hear that story. Indeed. Um, I will go extremely quick. I wrote it down. So I got some movies. I got Batman, Gotham by Gaslight, Steelbook, Power Rangers Overdrive, Dragon Ball Super Volumes One and Two. I got the Ezio Damn Collection straight. by PS4, PS3, mm-hmm. Arc, um, Assassin's Creed Three and Four. I got the Power Rangers Legacy Zio. Red Ranger. I got the Dragon Ball Superstar hit. I got the Assassin's Creed Edward Kenway Play Arts Kai. Also got the Advent Children Cloud Strife from Play Arts Kai. I got the Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora from Play Arts Kai. Powers of the Prime. I got Hunger, Duocons, Optimus Prime. And that is it for now. James just spent my budget for the year. Take a deep breath. Hey, how was that Gotham by Gaslight? Was it good? Yeah. I actually enjoyed it. It was really good. Yeah, I mean, it's, I rated I R, see. but I didn't see it. Really. It's on. It's on Cody. So. I couldn't finish it. I tried to finish it. And I couldn't finish it. Man, oh, honestly, like it? I was distracted by a four-year-old, so that probably didn't help much. But, but. is it all like we're Batman? Like all of his shits, like steampunk related? That's just how I imagine it. Uh, no, well, kind of. Stuff. In a way, it's a but it's, 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 it's a good Batman, story. Right? I like it. Um, back in London with Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Nemesis, and I won't Dude. spoil it, but it, it's it's good. Batman Did you guys like it? it de- wait, wait, Batman oh, being wow, a detective wow. tracking down Jack the Ripper. Yeah, he's Dude, like, that's awesome. So is he? Is Batman then? Is he? And maybe this is a spoiler. So if it is, you don't have to answer. But is he? Is he English then, or is he from the U.S. but decided to go over to the U.K. because of Jack the Ripper? No, it's it's just. The storyline. It doesn't go into in depth of that word. Oh, okay. So he's just, just there at the same yeah, time. There. You got the Robins, all three of them there. You got Gordon, you got uh, Poison Ivy's in there, um, Catwoman. Hmm. Um, this, so. Batman doesn't sound like Cody trying to be, do the uh, hey, uh, Christian you know. Bale voice, does he? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what you should do? <laughs> Stop this track the river. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, it's a good movie. They did a good job of taking the Else World, uh, Gotham by Gaslight, and uh, translating it into a film. So. Would you watch live, uh, live action movies if they did these one offs like that? Mm. If they do it like they're doing now, no. Gotcha. If it's like BVS and uh, Justice League and Suicide Squad, no. I mean, do you think we're at that point where we could just have one off movies like of, of stories? I think it'd be better for DC instead of trying to build a world that they're trying to do. Hey, uh, the guys in the chat said they're in old, they're in old Gotham, so Jack they are in Gotham. In Go- oh, Jack is in Gotham City. Mm. Uh, it's it's a combination. I mean, it's an else world. It doesn't belong like what we think it does, though. So. Sure, it's so whatever. Hmm. But yep, I give that's a world it for me. So. You know, Chris, I forgot to. You oh, see, so Chris, before you do that, I forgot to mention this is what I bought. Let me just say this real fast. I got the Voltron set, the '84, but I bought it for my son because his birthday's in a couple of weeks. But I'm missing the Yellow Lion. So if anybody can help me out with that, I just found one for um for Sunday Heat. The Yellow Lion. Yeah. How long? Let me ask you a question, Jessica. How long have you been aware of this problem? Well, so I, my whole thing was I didn't, I wasn't gonna buy them unless I could get them all in one clip. And so I happened to be at Target today, and I saw all of them. Except for the yellow line, and I was like, oh. 
You know what? I'm probably never gonna fucking see these again like this. Let me just grab them. Well, yeah. somebody help me out. I got time. I mean, I, I, I think my Walmart has it. Well, they did, but I won't be able to go to like Thursday. So yeah, people oh, I out didn't there. Realize Walmart carried it. I'll just take the Walmart by my house. Yeah, they they got them yeah. late. Target had them first. All right. Target Sorry. All right. Are... Go for it, Chris. Oh hey, I got um the Mezco One Twelve Collective PX Exclusive. X Force Deadpool. That was a lot of words right That's there. Too many words to remember. Jesus. I got the gray Deadpool there. I picked up a Marvel Legends Prowler with the Thunderbolts logo on it on clearance at Target while I was looking for some other stuff. I wait picked... Prowler. Isn't that brand not, new? Not Prowler. I'm sorry. Shocker. Sorry. Ah. So who was it? The Shocker guy with hey, the uh... Shocker. The guy with the things and the places and the faces and the things. I picked up um, a bunch of paint and shit for uh, building dioramas and whatnot. Been uh, been busted my hump literally. If I'm not doing my job, job or sleeping, I've pretty much been working on dioramas. Did you get a new so, light as well? Because I see. Uh, I did. That glow well, I off your head. It, it's not new, but it is a. Uh, it is magic lighting. The remote. It's got a remote. I can do strobe. Shout out to RGB life. Flash. Yeah, I can make it look like a whorehouse in here. Let me hear some uh, techno. I'm sure that'll get screen cap. Uh, and last thing I got is... Don't forget you got to add in all that other stupid shit. Um, I just let it smooth. So my, my buddy Manny... Um, Sent me a care package with some knives in it. I like not. I like pocket knives. Uh, got a little uh, little Kershaw spring load. Woo! There it is. And then these cool little pocket tools. This one is a. They call uh, that the little pecker. This one's a flashlight. But and it also, knife. but it also is a knife. Has a blade in it, and it's like you carry in your pocket. And then this is a, just like a tactical ink pen. You know you're not in Alabama anymore, right? I forget. Yeah, get I say, you get in a lot of trouble. You're over the <laughs> line there, buddy. Hey, hey, what, you... what line am I over? Isn't that the Mason Dixon line or something? No, he's I below it. Actually, I'm below it, dude. Below I'm it? still in the South. It's a kiss. Damn it. <laughs> All of my say, ass. <laughs> did you say tactical ink pen? Tactical. I'm going gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get your house swatted right it's now. Actually, it's actually an awful <laughs> thing. You should Google it. But yeah, thanks, Manny, for the. Uh, for the cool shit, man. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Manny also sends me, if you buy anything from me and it's got bubble wrap on it, God bless Manny because he hooks me up with, with stuff sometimes. So, uh, Manny was at a, a Maryland event last year. You guys might have met him there um, if you don't know who I'm talking about. So, I believe that's it for me. I picked up I picked up a couple of things for other people, but that's all I got. So, um, We have... Some toy fair news to get into. I'm trying to close this knife without cutting my face off. I'm going to leave it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. Let me do the screen share gimmick. Um, before, while I'm loading this up, is there anything just off the top of your head, one thing, guys, that you saw that really caught your attention at toy fair? Brian. Well, I'm sorry. I, I know you fell asleep on on the Saturday, but do you remember toy fair happened? <laughs> I did. Uh, I will say the la, 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 diamond select real ghostbusters. Really? Those looked interesting to me. Interesting. Did it ever bother anybody else that fucking Egon had this blonde fucking Twinkie for some hair? <laughs> yeah, that was, I never, I never understood it. And then the fact that, you know, Vankman was Garfield. Yes. Wasn't the same guy who did the voice for the Garfield cartoon? Yes, and uh, Winston was Arsenio Hall. But I'll tell you what, that <laughs> I I still have nightmares of that boogeyman. That yes, the boogeyman and that Sam That guy Hayden. was fucking scary. The boogeyman was <laughs> Sam <laughs> He was scary as fuck. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> I was cool with them being friends with Slimer, but I wasn't cool with fucking that dude having blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, you pick your battles. Yep. Just what about you? What was your... Uh, how about you ask this question at the end of the show? Okay. Well, Dan, what about you? I know you paid attention this weekend. 
Uh, it's definitely John Wick. That's my that yeah. and the uh, Netflix Punisher. For Mezco, you mean? Mezco, correct. Yeah. Jay Ruse, what about you? Those Marvel Legends look pretty fucking dope. Yeah, yep, they do. Rock, the fucking the whole, everything uh, that we saw on that. We'll I actually did see them. those. Those do look fucking cool. Um, Dust, what about you? Oh, that Predator King. Really? Yeah, he actually looks no, good. not at all. Okay. I think <laughs> that, <laughs> got him. Yeah, it was like, yeah, he that actually doesn't. Like, that doesn't look terrible, man. That, that, like, uh, hold on, that, that Doc Ock really caught my eye, man. I saw that and I was like, man, I, I was almost out of Legends. Now I got to hang around for a bit. Get my so Jay, get Sinister Six up. Jam, I know you saw every nook and cranny of what was going on. What 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 was a, the one thing that really caught your attention? Um, it would probably have to be the Marvel Legends stuff. Yeah. Um, that was good. The rest of it we've already seen. Right. Like, yeah. So mine would have been the Marvel Legends in the um in the Mez some of the Mezco. I, I can't wait to add those to my pre orders. <laughs> you know. A collection of pre orders. Yeah. I, I was you I was, was joking I was joking online with uh with some people about that and we, we made a joke that you should either uh, print out and frame your pre orders or keep a binder of your pre orders <laughs> to, to uh you know you should look at your pre order collection. So <laughs> all right, so once again, don't forget to check out agabus.com. Um here's our horrible bootleg logo with uh it's not horrible, but this part is questionable. Is There's only a few months left and then we can switch it. That's right. For next have year. A, have a new one soon. Shot glass is still available on our website, RomaCollector.com. They're two for 13 ship. They will be available at NJCC. Coming up here in just a couple weeks. Um, Friends and Family Tees will have those available also, but they are available on the website. $30 shipped in the U.S. Uh, and the hats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really, I really got to, we got to sell these hats so I can stop showing these goddamn pictures. <laughs> um, and I got to remember to bring Brian's glitter poncho. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, what if what if I had a glitter like a glitter uh, Ric Flair robe made for you, Brian? But it said our it said the mayor on the front and the back. It had the ROC logo. Did you wear it around? <laughs> Free squeezes. Yeah, it, like it looks like a, a blouse an old woman named Sadie would wear. <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> Isn't that a Snoop Dogg song? I don't know. Is it? Oh, that bitch. Got to match to this bitch named Sadie. Oh, that bitch. She used to be the homeboy's lady. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, we'll have this. What's left? Degrees. Yep. I'm tell it. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just so proud of Brian things. for knowing any rap music. <laughs> Dude, that, too, yeah. whenever I read off degrees from like the Weather Channel app, it just it's, it's 65 degrees. So I tell the bitch, please <laughs> off these NUTs. You know. Just... I just see. We just had to find the right music. So so it's it's, <laughs> it's mid 90s uh, West Coast. That, that you that's right. Work. That's what my my roommate in college got yeah. used to that stuff. He was a big Snoop fan. Pre-orders are closed. These shirts, uh, the the New Jersey uh, exclusive NJCC shirts, we will have some available for purchase at the event. I actually have gotten these already, and these came out awesome. Um, I think everybody's going to be real happy with uh, with the shirt. You got my Oregon plate one, right? Uh, yeah. No, the the Oregon's after the Wyoming and the, the Puerto Rico. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. I was going to sell like hotcakes. Once again, NJCC is coming up. Uh, the Realm has a door prize. It is the 10th scale Justice League RC Batmobile. Shout out to G Money on that one. Uh, once again, NJCC is coming up March 3rd and 4th at the Cherry Hill Holiday Inn in Cherry Hill, New Jersey from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come see the Realm and buy some stuff. I think yeah. we have 13 tables representing the Realm. With everything from uh, dioramas from Crashbox, etch glasses from Etchbox, uh, collectibles, Legos, uh, totes, totes, tattoos, tits. Maybe not the last <laughs> two, but hell, you never uh, know. Tits will definitely be there, just not the and ones you want. After party at the Hilton Garden Inn in Mount Laurel, if you know what I'm saying. And I just want to let people know if you've got tables and you're coming to sell and you haven't started getting organized yet, you're already behind. Trust me. Get going tomorrow. Start tomorrow. What are you talking about? All I have to do is open the the doors of my chug cabinet and just dump it all in the box. (laughs) Hey, even even Frothed Flakes is getting in on the cheap chug game. So, Oh, you should just open your door to him, Jay Roos. All right. So um, we have – oh, we have folders here. So let's get into the Toy Fair folder. First thing we have here, this is from Thousand Toys. They're doing a 
<laughs> roughly seven inch tall, completely die cast Iron Giant. All right. Does anybody wow. feel like this should be bigger? Like seven inches just seems like a fail to me. I thought it was going to be ten. Depends. I read. I read seven. If you go on their with their blog on their website, it gives you centimeters. Seven is not what I'm used to. That's all I'm telling you. I got you. I got you. But sometimes, you know, it's really what you what you do with it. What he's used to taking. Right. So here here's the. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, cool. Chris, you've been screen capped already. Your oh, great. It's on Instagram already. Nice. Who, who did it? So I can Night, Night of Ren. Mm. Nice. Night of Ren. The spoiler <laughs> Night of Ren is all I like to call Blocked it. Blocked and banned. <laughs> no, hey, <laughs> to the list. If I make this a... thing doesn't have the S as a, you know, that little Superman. There it is. Cool. Shut the fuck up. I'll See, you have, no, you have no patience. Hey, shout out to you, USPS for losing uh, Chat Wingenham's Hound and Cosmos. They need to get their shit together so that man can have his toys. Um, yeah, look at that pose. I mean, you got some really cool poses here. I look, I, Thousand Toys is a brand a lot of people don't know about, but they did the synthetic humans. They did recently the blame figures. Um, but those are getting a third run. Yeah, the, the synthetic humans getting a third run. You can actually pre-order them on their website. If you don't have, if you like twelve scale figures, six inch figures, I mean, they don't. They're not a character. They're bad as shit. Just to screw around with. Are they die cast too? No, they're not. No, okay. They're this full thing black. Looks like it's three D printed in some parts, like the hand and stuff. I mean, maybe I don't know. this is yeah, just a what, test shot, but yeah. Just I don't know, man. I, I'm excited about this. I, I debated on getting that Mondo one, but I never have. But this kind of scratches two inches for me. It's Thousand Toys, and it's and it's a character I really like. So Again, I, I said it in the chat. I, I don't know what the infatuation... I'm not judging anybody, but I don't I don't understand the infatuation with, the, with that character. It didn't get you in the movie. fields. It was cool. It's just this gentle giant who's also a fucking murder machine. <laughs> you know my favorite scene? <laughs> my favorite scene in that movie is when Hogarth and the um, I don't remember his name. the The government guy. They're in the they're in the malt the malt shop, and he's like, "What you doing there, sport ranger, cowboy, chief?" And oh, shoot, shooter him, like, McGavin. All these names. It was. Shooter. It just cracks. <laughs> yeah, it is Shooter McGavin, but it just cracks me up that he just keeps on. I all like the names. Who the fuck names their kid Hogarth? Dude, I love it. That is <laughs> awesome. What is that all this, about? This is my my description of the movie. I want to read it off the chat. It's about an alien war robot with amnesia because he got a dent in his head. That's accurate. That's actually completely true. Yeah. Hey, speaking of dents in their heads, moving on to DC Collectibles. Uh, here is their, I believe they call this the Expressions Pack. Harley Quinn, is that correct? Anybody? Yep. Sure. Sounds yep. good. So you get uh, how many different? Eight different expressions. You get the dogs, the roller skates, the fish outfit, and all sorts of other gimmicks. Haven't we seen this for like a year? Yep. Yeah, it takes yep. a while. It's been floating yeah. around. So they got a Joker of similar fashion. <laughs> I love that he comes with well, the... they did Batman last year, right? Yeah, they now. did the Batman. So who I Jame, are you in on these at all? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I am as well. I, I knew you were Brian. I didn't know if Jane was or not. Uh, are you guys getting them? I mean, I know they've released these figures pretty much before, and this is. Mm -hmm. Are these? It's something you guys want. These two. Yeah. You know, when I get old and retire, I I, I feel like I'm going to need all these expressions to take ACBA picks with. So gotcha. I'm going to be prepared. Gotcha. <laughs> Here's your a hard game. When you're done collecting, you switch to photography. That's right. Stop motion, all that stuff. <laughs> Here's a Harley and Joker, and I don't know the reference. Does anybody? It's just like a picture. It's like a take on that classic picture of the sailor coming the home. The sailor and the nurse. Okay, got Dude, it. Get some thighs, man. Yeah, that so Harley fun. looks great though. The Joker hey, looks bad. Hey man, here's a here's an Aquaman that I am. I'm sure it's in a scale that doesn't go with anything else. Uh, it's like six, seven inch. So it's closer to like Legends scale now. So it's closer to Legends than it was before? Yes. So you're getting, a, a, I guess, a Rebirth Batman. This actually looks pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn, like why that. do they have this? That's, I mean, it's, yeah. it's nitpicking, but they've got a freaking oh, for the ab a, crunch. A pin in the ab crunch on the side that's visible. Oh, well. Here's this guy whose name, who is this? Mantis. Black Mana. Mana. Black Mana. Black, yeah. Manta, okay. not Mantis, right? Mana, yeah. Whatever. Mana War? Because it's like a Mana Ray. Yeah. Fish head. Pre-ordered. Uh, Brainiac. Brainiac. Yeah. Okay. There's a really cool looking Deathstroke. 
And the f- there's a uh, reverse flash. That one actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like they took the clothes off the Mezco one and sold the figure. Except for the hips are all weird on that. And then there's a regular flash. Some big ass shoulders. Dude, come on. Look at like go go back to to the reverse flash. Look at that. Look at like look at that fucking face. He's like, yeah, he's ready to fuck some shit up. And then go to flash. He's like, hey guys. <laughs> now is reverse flash is that zoom? No, I think Zoom is a different character. Oh, okay. it, it depends on the fiction, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because well, like, according to Zoom CW, in the CW, Zoom is, Zoom, Zoom is a black <laughs> outfit with a weird g- gappy mouth, gapy it's mouth, like all like melted almost, yeah. or like scarecrowish. Here's a bow-legged Superman. What the hell pose is this? That Superman looks pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, no, don't break it. None of these have shown an ankle tilt. Uh, I mean, they have. It's uh, like a. Uh, it's, it's like a weird ball joint. You kind of yeah. see it. At the yeah, it's like a ball joint. Yeah. Dude, look at that knee right there on Flash. I need to get that leg a little bit. That shit's fucked up. Need to get some for for fucking it. sucks. Yeah. So here's a. I'm assuming this is a life size yeah, Joker cane. On scale, yeah. It's pretty dope, actually. It'd be great for those cosplayers and Halloween types, especially if they have bad feet and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, here's here's the. Uh, Two face coin, pretty dope. It's a double headed coin with one side all fucked up, and it comes in a fancy velour line case for only twenty nine ninety five. The Bradford Mint. Like you can make your own luck. That's right. You can make your own luck. Um, this what is this Jesus is Christ. um the it's not the mind the marionette or the mind. What is it, the marionette? Jesus. I, I want to say something. it's the marionette. She's got some child bearing hip. <laughs> There's a side profile. She's got mom thighs. God, dude, look at those fucking face. guns. She's got a white painted face. That's the mime. She hey, can wrestle she... down a calf. Actually, shout out to mom. double jointed elbows on a female figure. Yeah, that is something that's unique, unique, unique. That's why it looks so bad. Yeah, that's, um, that's weird. Tiny here's arms. Doctor Manhattan. Oh, hey, look, he got me. All right, Doctor. dude. That's the the way they painted that dude's fucking. The underwear is really terrible. Yeah, well. And then who is this guy? I'm sorry. Ozzy Mandius. Yeah, yeah Ozzy Mandius, the Have gold you not guy. Have seen that movie, there, Chris? Dude, I've seen it. It's been a very long time. It's kind of a chore to get through. It's so long. It's a comedian, right? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't look very funny. Anymore. You're a funny guy. Yeah, this comedian actually looks okay. It's all a joke. And then this is this is the mime. Yep. These are from the the wait, room. Wait, Chris, that's yours. What? That's yours. That's what's mine. That My oh, I I get it. Am I? <laughs> yeah, you're getting your right. M's and your N's mixed up. Um, this is from I guess when they dumped the Watchmen into the DC universe. Yeah, isn't it a Watchmen book? Clock, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And here's um, Rorschach. 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 Dude, you know what? You know what? You know who wins with this figure? Whoever gets the face that just constantly moves. Whoever figures out how to do that. Put you mean that's not a feature it. of the figure? No, it's a feature and a benefit, but it's not going to be. Looks like he's wearing Joker's pants. I was, dude, I was thinking the same thing. Huh. Yeah, yeah, it's like, fuck it, we're not going to repaint him. And here is, uh, is this a box set? I, I don't know. There was not really. Uh, I think it's just it. all of them together. All right. I bet you want to bet that Manta won't stand. Because the, uh, yes, the, he has very small feet, too. The Watchmen stuff, those are coming in two packs, and the others, except for Harley and Joker, are single. Packed. This all sucks. Right, are you, any of you guys hyped? I mean, do any of you guys eight collect the DC line at all? Oh, I'm getting the Brainiac. I mean, not hyped about like, the Watchmen shit? Nope. No? Yeah, not really. And uh, also, it looks like DC Collectibles is. Uh, what, uh, Dan, was it you? They You posted a, uh, a pic in the chat of uh, Martian Manhunter. Um, yeah, I didn't see like, that after that one bit. Like that was just yeah. nowhere. So I know DC Collectibles didn't show everything that they had there. You know, they had like kind of a uh, embargo on what they could and could not show. Embargo. That one of those. Yeah, because I didn't see anything about that Martian Manhunter and after that one bit. Yeah. So move, moving into Marvel here, I've actually grabbed all the promotional images in one little basket, and then we can go through the. Yeah, and quickly go through the pictures. But up first is a two pack that's coming from Black Panther of an unmasked Eric Killmonger, and I believe this gentleman in the suit's name is Ross. What's up? Yeah, um, Killmonger is good. Like I think it looks like the dude. It does. I mean, this <laughs> is Michael the, B. Jordan. 
Right. This is the digital face mapping uh, or whatever you want to call it that they're doing. Uh, <laughs> digi Creed? Digital print. Yo, Stringer, yeah. where's Wallace? Creed. Yeah, yeah right. Right. Wow. Where's wow. Wallace, String? Yeah, well, not to give away anything, but man, that kid grew up in Baltimore, not Oakland. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, they need to get a new suit body. I I cannot believe this mold has got to be shit by now. Yeah, Is it the spidey. I, I love the no the 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 actual the business suit body. Yeah, oh, it the, is. They have used this was Colson. This was uh Banner. It was Banner. Uh, this, is, this is Chameleon. This is you'll see it again here in a minute. I mean, it's. I just can't imagine that it's it's a sharp, crisp mold still at this point. It's it's the uh, it's the Takara Seeker of the Marvel Legends game. Now, oh, hold on, go back real fast, just so I know. I haven't seen Black Panther, but is the dude on the right supposed to be that same dude from Civil War who was like? It is. All right, you're going to see a lot of this the guy. Hobbit. This guy, you're going to see a lot of. He's going to have ties to uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So he's like the new. Oh, so he's, he's like the new Coulson. Yeah. yeah. He's, like he's kind, Yeah, he's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so uh, Marvel announced they're doing a 10th anniversary line of all the uh, Cinematic Universe figures. Some some stuff we haven't seen before, some we have. This is Iron Man Mark 7. Mark 7. Dude, I'm excited for this. Yeah, it looks good. I figured you would be. This is actually a pretty cool figure because it does this stuff in the back. It's got oh, the wow, little panels that pop up. Yeah, it looks dope. I will tell you that the retail on these are is $25 instead of $20 on these Ooh. these uh greedy bastards oh, so the, the, the cinematic line yeah and this is a, this is a cool pack that's coming out that we're getting a crossbones from civil war for the first time and it still comes with the same kind of derpy cap but you do get we'll see it in a, in a little while you do get an unmasked cap head for and you get an unmasked uh crossbones head and they i pre-ordered this i've been wanting um, crossbones since the movie came out so you're getting a hulk and a Hulk Buster. Yeah, what's up with all those veins in his face? Yeah, that's kind of whack. Would you not have a bunch of veins in your neck? Not, I mean, in my neck, maybe, but that shits are on his fucking face. So, so during that scene, wasn't he? I don't remember. Oh yeah, he, he was like crazed or something like that. Yeah, he's he's really angry. I think I don't think the Hulk looks good in general. But then, like, yeah, it's it's hard to do the Hulk. I mean, it really is. Um, and, there yourself on some paint pants. He's got hair on his chest. I mean, I don't know. They, they did the Hulk hair. poster. I feel like the Hulk should have been wider. I feel like the, you know the Hulk just seems like this wide ass fucking figure, like not fat, but just squat. You know. So, so the Hulk Buster here is the same as the build a figure from days gone by, but it's they've done a lot more paint on it. <laughs> Shout out to all those people still chasing down like a left leg or something. The finish there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You get a um, uh, Ronin. Ronin. Over Ronin. Hey, oh, let's destroy. talk about forgettable villains from the Marvel Universe. You get a rock. <laughs> I, 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 that's cool that they're doing that, though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you should have put this out when the movie came out. Right. Oh, no. Character. oh look. Oh, it's that's the, dope. It's the suit body again, and it's uh, oh, yeah. you get a Mark One, which is pretty cool with Tony Stark. Yeah, fucking Tony Stark looks terrible. I, is the Mark One cool? I mean, is that what everybody wants? It's I mean, size. It's Listen, so tiny. If, if yeah. you're... Uh, if you're, you know, building a hall of armor or whatever, you kind of, you kind of need it. This, uh, what's, what's funny is I watched, I actually watched, uh, I watched Iron Man three the other night. Um, I don't remember him wearing this suit. Maybe I completely lost my mind. Hey, Chris. Hey, I never saw this coming. <laughs> You'll never, You'll see never me coming. It's cool to get a Mandarin figure. Um, and you know, <clears throat> super hot pepper pots in her workout clothes. That Mandarin seems. He's tall as fuck. Like his legs are bent, and he's still tall as shit. You know yeah, what? I think those are the Punisher legs from Netflix. Uh it's quite possible. You, know, you uh, guys have been in it too long, and you're like, look, look, they used Punisher legs. <laughs> Generic army yeah. pants, number seven. And here's another. Here's another, pros. another, another yeah. shot of this. That so. fucking armor's wild, man. Was that in the movies? I mean, that's had it. That's it's uh, probably one of those that did like a flyby or something. Mm. It's a war machine armor, isn't it? With but didn't he have no? I think in Iron Man three, he was like, "Look, I'm gonna paint it up like my dad's hot rod or something like that." So maybe it's just, and he had it like an yeah. image of it. Yeah. So here, here we go. Here's the crossbones. Oh, yeah. oh uh, Knight of Ren says it's in the it's in the hot rod suits in the final battle. Okay. Yeah. So oh, here, right, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up because there's so many damn suits. There. Yeah. But yeah, here, here's the un uh, unmasked heads for both of these guys. It's a good looking two pack there. Oh, you it's can take that gauntlet off. That's pretty cool. Yeah, gauntlets come off. So, 
And then this just randomly showed up, but no announcement whatsoever. But uh, apparently this is a, a Toys R Us exclusive Scarlet Witch and Vision 2-pack uh, from Infinity War. This is actually the first time we're getting a MCU Vision figure um, from Marvel Legends. Uh, and the Scarlet Witch is is actually quite different from the... Uh, from the previous version, which the previous version was actually a pretty damn good figure. It is. I'm looking so, at it over there. So is is Frosted Flakes now forgiving you for selling <laughs> me that Scarlet Witch? Well, Frosted Flakes needs to get his game up. Uh, he ain't got no money. He's like, do I you, want this case in this case. Do you anticipate this being something that's hard to find? Absolutely not. Because of the vision? Oh, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you were like, absolutely. I'm going to go. This will be something people pay $70 for until it's everywhere. Um, a right. lot of these exclusives. I mean, I may I may be wrong, but it seems a lot of these exclusives end up. Just- well, the other two weren't weren't around. Well, let's the, the say I'm gonna say the Mary Jane and <laughs> Spider Man weren't all over the place, and the you know, uh, you know it's funny. I saw like two cases of that sitting in a Toys R Us the other day. Like, what about you know, the Jean Grey, the Jean Grey and um, Cyclops? They, look, if you wanted them, you could get them. They weren't. Hard. I mean, I'm not saying they were literally. You walk into Toys R Us, they were sitting there, but you know, if you were looking for it, that you could find them. They're I see a lot of people posting too. that they're finding them. I'm sorry. I mean, who's that? They're finding these already? No, yeah, I don't know. But Canada yeah. always gets stuff first. Jane, yeah. what did you say? I'm sorry. Shit oh, trickles God. downhill, I think. That's because they know they're paying that you're premium not, price. Neither, none of you are Jane. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, Jane. No, I, I have nothing. Okay. <laughs> 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 that was much ado. The rock rolling is deep tonight. About nothing. Uh, and then, sp- speaking of things that'll sit on the shelf, um, prepare to uh, look at this for the next two years. Um, Ant Man and Stinger, the comic versions in a two pack at Toys R Us that no one will probably buy. This, this legitimately, what is it, 2018? This will be sitting on your shelves. It's your Toys R Us until 2021 when they'll finally mark it down by $5. Who's Stinger? Isn't that like his daughter or something? Stinger's from um from uh, Transformers. It's the uh, Bumblebee ripoff. Mm, it's painted that way. I'll tell you this, man. I saw the trailer for that new Ant Man movie, and that shit looks boring as fuck. I think it looks cool. That Hello Kitty Jeez. Pez dispenser. So here's some uh, here's some promo Im- images. Getting into the other stuff. Here's the Ant Man um, figure from uh, the Ant Man and Wasp. I mean, it's Ant Man, and here's the I like the alternate head. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a few minutes. Here's the here's the wasp figure with her wings good. and like wings and lasers. Uh, moving oh, out, there moving out of the cinematic and into the comic related. Speaking here's uh, here's uh, here's Bishop from the uh, one of the new X Men waves, looking pretty dope. Here is uh, Deadpool with house shoes and uh, boxer shorts. Who buys this? Oh, whatever. Shout Deadpool. out to everybody who bought the Figma one. Yeah, here's an oh look another Deadpool when he was uh wearing the X Men logo on his chest. <sighs> here, oh, here's a lady Deadpool. Jesus oh, Christ! Um, I hope the build a figure for this one isn't good. I hope it's good. Oh. As we've already seen, here's Omega Red. <laughs> Is that the build a figure? No, I don't know. They didn't really make it clear on this way what the build a figure was. Shout out to Tentacles. I hope it's a, just a larger dead. No, that's, no, what that's right. That's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So here's your. Yeah, that's right. Here's your build a figure. Damn it! So looks good. good. He looks really good. I gotta buy the whole fucking wave now. <laughs> yeah, I need somebody. That's what, that's what I figured. They're gonna pick yeah. a good build a figure and just put those fucking yeah. shitty shitty figures. wave. Yep. 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 So continuing in their line of. Uh, this looks Dude, good. Dudes and chicks on bikes are getting a Logan on a on a Harley esque motorcycle. Pretty cool look here. Um, the uh, the other two bikes are out. Uh, they're not out wide, but they're they they've been spotted all over the country. They're actually spotted here locally where I'm at. How much are those bikes? Forty five fifty, depending on where you buy them. Yeah, I got I got the Ghost Rider for fifty. Yeah, I want. I'm, I'm, I'm not want sure. Ghost Rider. I heard that the wide release is going to be like forty, but. It hasn't really hit the mass market just It's like yet. comic shops and stuff are getting them so far. I feel like for this one, like, you could just, this bike, like, isn't specific, like, the Ghost Rider bike. You know what I mean? You could just find a fucking I mean, I have I have a bike. bike that looks almost just like this. Yeah. Twelve scale, I mean, 12 scale Harley bike. That shit ain't worth the fucking money, I don't think. Go to Hobby well, Lobby. 
They this have an alternate, alternate head, though. It's the same as the nice. Ghost Rider one. It's just modified. Yeah, the alternate <laughs> the head does look nice. Oh, is that, the, is that the alternate head, the one that's on the picture right now? <clears throat> no. Oh, so. <laughs> Hobby Lobby so, sells. So this, is, uh, this is portraying his patch character, right? Yeah. Uh, the it alternate head, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Brian, I'll send you a picture of the one you get at Hobby Lobby for like eight bucks. That's very obscure bucks. character for them to. They do. That's, a, that's, like that's a cool buck though, like a just T-shirt and jeans. Like I'm, I'm sure those will sell like crazy for yeah. uh, generic people. Oh, yeah. people. We're getting a Shadowland Daredevil. Moving on to the next wave of, of yeah, legends here. Yes. This is really cool. Um, that's when he I was really, a bad guy, right? Not really. No. So he was a demon, or when he's yellow, yeah. the demon, or is he black? When I was black, reading the Shadowland one, is he, he he takes control of the not the foot, the hand, the, uh, the hand. The he's foot. like he's possessed <laughs> by something. Yeah. Not the foot, but the hand. The what is this twenty thousand dollars pyramid? He took control of the hoof. <laughs> I was right. You know, I um I I, I recently read uh, Civil War two, and he's he's in that in this getup, but he's with the Defenders. So I I'm, I love I, this costume. I don't know. Yeah, it, it is a badass costume, I and mean, you get a um. Scarlet Spider. It, yeah, it's a Spider clone. I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Frost, Frosted Flakes is very up on his Spider Men, and he was telling me um, about this. You get a. We're getting a comic book Electra. That Pretty is cool. Nice. Is this yeah, the first Electra good. figure? Or no. Mm, we, we outside the, the Netflix uh, one, yes. First one, one since Toy Biz, I think. Right. First one oh, since wow. the two pack. And here's here's what everybody's a little moist. A little nice. Moist. Wow, dude, that shit looks good, man. So, so good. my the Doc Doc Ock here, and I'm I'm curious to see if these tentacles, so to speak, are are poseable at all, or if they are static. Yeah, because I, they're probably bendies. But from what you, I've heard, they're actually static. But you can they're you can like pull pull them out of the peg holes and move them around to make it look huh. dynamic. So the images that they show, we'll look at some here in a minute. That is literally the exact same pose with the tentacles so and uh yeah. chris uh, people are saying in the chat i guess that other spider-man is kane parker kane that's yeah that's it yeah he's a spider clone yeah yeah um cloak and dagger oh, yeah. looking wow. looks pretty good here yeah yeah what is the is the is the cloak figure hollow underneath it's just like a floating cloak with it's a head. It's she goes into it. Under it there's there's a body under it but then you can pull it off so she can Fit inside there, or you, you don't even need. Oh, that's awesome. Say this one figure, but it's pretty with her booty. That fucking look at that figure's body looks looks crazy. That is literally just the generic Marvel Legends women's buck. So, yep. Oh, uh, she's a uh, and that's she's sticking of, it out. One of the three heads they have for women. Um, here's a Spider Man, which this is House of M. House of M. Yeah, I think it's the House of M. Spidey. What's this uh, House of M mean? It's a Magneto storyline that okay. they did. And a Scarlet Witch. Yeah. No more mutants. And this is the build a figure for that line. It's SP slash slash DR, I do believe. I know nothing yeah. of this. Anybody? This is a build a figure? Yes. Yeah, what is this? Uh, I don't Looks think like money saved to me. I don't think okay. I need this wave. Oh, wait. I need um, octopus. Damn it. Moving on to Walgreens. They're got, continuing with their cosmic adventures. You're getting a. <laughs> Silver Surfer with oh look at that exciting effect that that's original that effect that's great I yeah, like it paint with, with, it with a nail time. file guys honestly <laughs> that should work is working for everything like it doesn't look like it doesn't not work with all those yeah movies. I mean it it does work it, it was a good choice and then you're it's getting a uh, clobber in time here holy shit this looks good it kind of makes me want to go back and get the rest of them I know I, I felt the same it. way Chris well, look, now that they made that Killmonger they can make you a modern day Johnny Storm they got his head for it. <laughs> I don't think we need to worry about that. <laughs> All right. Um, more spider news here. We saw this uh tease last week. And here's the Carnage with the unmasked head. Oh, I don't like all that is. coming off of him. Yeah, he looks good. So so do you think it's worth canceling the Rebel Tech for this? It depends Absolutely on what not. you want to do with it. I mean, if, if you're looking to pose, get the Rebel Tech. If it, you just want like a character representation, then by all means, this is the way to but go. But I mean, I think or, this will pose well enough. It's not going to pose or, like the Rebel Tech, but... Hey, hey guess what? Hey, guess what? You know the simple solution, right? Get them both. Yeah. Uh, what do you need to pose it for? It's not like you're taking pictures. No! Oh, oh, true. Oh, I mean, same with everybody else here who's talking about posing. <laughs> like anybody else takes pictures. Either. All right. 
Dan just takes pictures of how he's not taking pictures. I just take uh, pictures. I don't know what you're talking about. Hours. I get at least one picture up a month. <laughs> yeah, the last one I posted was on the tenth. So eat a. Well, how many videos Ooh. of your dioramas do you take? He said, "Eat a pic." <laughs> Ooh, that would have been better so. if I said I that. Take, yeah. I take pictures of my diorama. That's about it. Um, there, Here's a spider guy. I don't know. Anybody? Poison. There you go. Is, is this one of Venom's children? Yeah, Reverse I, I, Venom. One of the symbiotes. I was, was reading it was Eddie Brock with some other bullshit. I don't know. And here's another one of Venom's children or cousins or is something. That Scream? Scream, yeah. Scream. Oh, oh, that's that's first Venom miniseries. I don't know these by heart. And oh, spider pig. It's Peter Porker. Yeah, <laughs> was that really his name? Was Peter yeah. Porker? His name was Peter Porker. <laughs> yeah, here's the Eddie the Eddie Brock head on the Venom we saw last week, I believe. This only looks good with the Eddie Brock head with the yeah, Venom. Yeah, it's it, it's and you can't take that off, can you? Or do yeah, you well, because it's, it's got an Eddie Brock head. Well, you talking no, about no, the, the gimmick? The, yeah, the gimmick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would come off. They didn't. They I don't know. Maybe not. But I think it would. Maybe. This is a new Magneto. That's, that's pretty good. House of M Magneto, right? Yeah. His hands clear, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a damn it, Marvel Legends. Damn, damn it, it was good. Now, now Chris, a, you, you never oh, read the house, of Mary, right? Yeah. No, it's on my list of stuff. You just read. like the look. I haven't read the book. No, I, it's 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 on my list. Of stuff so, so read. what what does the figure do for you that you want to get it? Just the look of it? No, I'm I, I'm just cussing at them in general. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All this stuff. I don't know. I just I just looks badass. Yeah, it's gonna Magneto be a strong. It's like, gonna be a strong year for them if they. I don't. Them, so. I don't read these books, but Magneto's just one of those. He just looks dope. Like I think Magneto, Juggernaut. There's yeah. certain characters that always just the way they were just designed was uh, cool. yeah, they're they're iconic too, and look. Yeah. Magneto's yeah. yeah. a great character just in general. Yeah. Here's Sabretooth. Um, I think everybody's pretty excited about that. Oh yeah, he looks. And what's good, about, uh, what's no. good about that House of M Magneto is now they got a, you know, they got a good mold for Magneto, so they can go back and do the classic Magneto too. Yeah, yeah. guys, we're gonna we're gonna zip through these pretty quick. This is just some of the the images um, from the from the show. They're actually doing a yellow jacket. Um, there's Ronan again. There's the unmasked oh, head God. for uh, Paul Rudd. Oof. They are doing. Oh, uh, they're doing oh. Yeah. They're doing a red skull with Hydra Trooper. Oh, now could um, you just go back real quick? I know we're trying yep. to think through these. So that's going to be part of the re reissue series. Yeah, and it, it comes with the Hydra. And it comes with the Hydra Trooper as well. All right, so that's why you get a little bit. Oh, it's a two pack. Okay, two no, pack. no, it's, it's just it's a single pack. It just has all the different heads. That you oh, okay. So no, I guess that's why the price points are yeah, sure? back. There's all the heads in the back. No, right, but yeah. it uh, it it does. Okay. Well, is it a two pack? A no, is it a two pack? I'm, I'm... These. Give me just, just patient, patient saves. Okay. These are still legends, right? Yeah, this is all still legends. So here's nope. here's uh, some more of upcoming waves. You've got Storm and you got the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Uh, I need that Wolverine. Multiple Man, the Psylocke. Lots of cool stuff coming out. Who's that dude in the trench coat? That's that's multiple, multiple Man. man. Multiple he looks good, multiple man. It looks it's going to be Gambit. I'm, I'm going to guess. As yeah, well. they can make a uh, game. It's literally, literally a head swap, and that's... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's that same trench coat they've been yeah. using. Forever. These trench coats been around forever. Um, that storm. storm. Here's another one of the uh, poison. That poison. actually looks better in that. Um, these poison. look better in poison. These poison. photos versus poison. their. Uh, <laughs> All right, I, get it. I understand. So here's here's a. Uh, here's, here's the cloak with a hand sticking out, so you see he does have a body. Scream again. Um, Omega Red. Omega Red. <laughs> Kane. Dude, all these things look way fucking better just in these photos than they did in the photos. So. Yeah. In the photoshopped crazy. Yeah. Yep. Pro yeah, and just, here's Logan on the bike, and there's ah, the extra there. head. That's dope. I don't know. Yeah. That Wolverine looks. Yeah, I'm going really cool. at that. He looks good. That is really cool. That's good for a head swap, too. You can use it on your regular fucking. The regular yeah. Wolverine. There's the apocalypse, which is oh, the uh, build a feed. Wow. This wave. Just let me know what you need, guys. I normally don't order a lot of cases anymore, but I'll let your boy. Dude, I wasn't gonna do X Men. I think now I gotta get uh, in. Dude, I started X Men and I fucking. I, I was about smart. to stop. Yeah, you know, I'm going right back in. Yeah. Here's There's your Hulk. Much, Hulk just too much to catch up right now, man. Even that Hulk look looks that, better. Look that that Hulk looks better on. there than it did in the promotional. Yeah. Here's oh, your Sauron again. Sorry. So so much texture on that shit. It's yeah. so good. Dude, that's Sauron coming. <laughs> it looks like a yam bag. <laughs> it's so vain. 
Yeah, here's a better shot here of the uh, yellow jacket. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I think I agree. And there's your um, yeah. crossbones set. Here's another shot of Magneto with. Is it? Uh, he doesn't look, look as good. Yeah, and, some of the helmet looks wonky there. Um, and the shoulders look cheesy. The shoulder. So, so you're right. That is one yeah. figure with multiple parts. Yeah, oh. oh. I guess that says just defining the higher price point. point. I, yeah, but not I, everybody and not all of them come with all that. I, I am um, no, I but watching. I'm saying put I, it in a box and make it like exclusive. Another. Right, that head what looks the, ridiculous. That head looks big as fuck. That's <laughs> fake. I think that's fake. It's got to be fake. Yeah, yeah like, not, not fake, fake, but like, uh, yeah. like a, uh, it's not completed. Yeah, look at the head sculpt on this wasp, though. I mean, that's that Evangeline good. Lily all day long. Hey, freckles, dude. I'm digging the yeah. I'm digging the stand <laughs> they got there. Shout out to stands. There's another shot of Spidey and another shot of Carnage. Dude, they um, should make those stands. They should release with those stands. I like those. Okay. Those. You gonna? You gonna hey, Ener is you going to Toy Fair tomorrow. Do you want us to get him to cop all those stands for us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can put him in his oh, with his razor blade in his mouth. There you go. Um, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be watching him anyway. By the way, by the way, the way. <laughs> I, need, I need to give a nice white baby. I need to give special thanks to uh, to Jame for sending me over his uh, his deck of photos. And there is a four hour episode of plastic fanatics available on victory saber 77's youtube channel to go um completely deep into all this stuff as we zip through it cliff notes style yes <laughs> we have the what cliff notes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm famous for rock a i almost feel like we should have just shown these and not the promotional photos. well you know I, 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 listen anytime <laughs> just, just anytime <laughs> I mean, I'm just time you want to spend you're whittling it down. But. I was whittling it down. Yeah. So um yeah, just you know yeah, uh, Bishop. The bishop looks bishop good. Looks Even the gun good. looks good. They not they usually fuck up on the weapon. Psylocke inner box. Um you know, now, now, now how's I'll, the spider? I'll get, I'll get in Psylocke's box. box. How is that gonna come? Is that just like an extra? Is that a oh, this? figure? What is it? It's not can't come as its own figure. No, this is its yeah, own figure. It. Keep in mind they sell Yoda in uh What's her name? Uh, that's probably gonna have Mom. the body of something with him. The yeah, that'd have, have the body. That'd probably have sore on yeah. body or whatever in it. So here's a uh, or one of the you know, lady bucks. Jeez, I need to double hinge those up. I hate that I sold all those pajama jammy jam Luke's for five dollars a piece. I could have robbed all the arms for lady figures, but yep. Could've. Um, getting a Thor and a um Sif? lady Sif. Lady Sif. Hey, Sif. Her face know. looks good too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was up close to Sabretooth. <laughs> Sabretooth looks fucking dope. Kane again. So, is there a close-up of that Apocalypse? Cause, uh, the I one think there may be one here. Yeah, and some of these are in here twice. Sorry, guys. I'm just zipped through them. So them. much for whittling. I know. No, I did, I did whittle, but I forgot to throw away my wood chips. <laughs> good thing you got those knives. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I put knives at risk. Thanos. Um, do, 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 do. Speed. So they had a whole display of Ant-Man and the Wasp stuff. Um, big figures, little figures. I love that that, head that face, man, is so fucking funny. That's Paul Rudd, man. Paul Rudd. That Paul Rudd. That whole Who ever thought Paul Rudd would have gotten that much head action. But check out the sides of these boxes for the Marvel Cinematic. Oh, okay, I didn't see this. That's fucking. It bad. makes like a. It makes a mural. Cool. Oh, for even cool. the big one. Yeah. It's in. Huh. Shout out to you, uh, mint in box collectors. That's and right. Hoard box hoarders. And some more pictures of the Hulkbuster and Hulk. Um, yeah, there's your sexy Gwen with. Uh, hey, shout out to Toy Arc for providing such great yeah, coverage. Exactly, Toy Arc. Check them out. Um, um, we've seen all these, so I'm sure this is great for our audio listeners. Yeah. Great shot of the head. It's definitely there. not an audio show. <laughs> I wonder no. if I could double that as like a uh, jigsaw head. Possibly some just in box images of these sets. So they have some that some two packs, some single packs. Um, this is a really cool. I, I this may be the best thing that I've seen. Yeah, that's from really this good. from this set that in the crossbow. Yeah, for you Marvel Legends collectors, would you would you wish that would would you wish they switched over to this box method than the card? No, so they put it back away. You get you get you put it back in the box if you have to resell value. Resell hey, it. What you are know. you talking about? They, they're they, in the box. They do box. Legends are in boxes. Yeah, but they're, they're kind of. You know, carded. You know, my my. I don't know. I don't like the way that they they are. You know what I mean? Well, this is more like this, like this, like this is a black series box. Is what this is. Oh, uh, gotcha. I see what you're saying, Dust. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually excited for these new suit figures, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna pose. I'm gonna pose my Avengers like they're walking, walking in the work. Okay. 
<laughs> You're all going in. Everybody's wearing a suit. That's right. I think, uh, I think we are seen. There you go. There's, there's what you're looking for. Yeah. There's your uh, there's your apocalypse money shot. I kind of wish that blue was painted on and it wasn't the plastic. That speckled blue plastic is like a little purple. weird. There when is. when have they ever painted a full figure? Now, who is, who is this guy? Malekith. Who? Malekith. The, the, Thor, the, dark, the dark elf from Thor. Yeah. All right, so you get the dark elf from Thor. I don't know where he fits in here. And then there's this gladiator dude here who's. Please Black tell me he's in Black Knight. Okay. Wasn't he I in? Was, I thought that was supposed to be. No, Martin Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four multiple man with his different heads. Psylocke. I'm pretty excited about that to get a Psylocke. I can't believe they're doing the multiple man. That's, that's very weird. Oh, uh, the only <laughs> new thing they have there is just the head. So, I mean. Well, they're doing it's multiple the trench coats. They have the body. It's it's, it's Doc Ock, man. Yeah, that Doc Ock looks great. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. that's thing the still, perfect classic Doc Ock right there. They can sell like three or six, of, three to six of those multiple men to to, to one person. Yep. yep. All right. So that's uh, that's it for that. That's uh, probably one of the most exciting displays. Yeah, they're very strong. Very strong. Yeah. Should, should say that last. So Mezco, uh, Mezco came out with some teasers yeah. early on. Uh, John Wick was a teaser, and then the uh, this um, modernish Batman. Like, did we I look like at that, that last week? This Batman. Yeah, we we did look at those too. They're just teasers. So Dude, look at that shit. Started uh, started pretty strong. Finished pretty strong here. So the you know Hellraiser three figure, the pinhead. Um, obviously, nice. Clockwork Orange figure we saw um, a couple three weeks ago. There we've got a King Kong of Skull Island figure coming out, which is very. Odd and someone unexpected. Hey, how did Hans get in? I was just gonna say that. Did Hans go to Toy Hans? Toy Fair? Shut up, Throw your Hans in the air at Toy Fair. Hey, what's up? I don't see Crash Box putting in a side of fries on their dials like this one's got. I'll tell you uh, what, uh some like of these, some of these the, they need a um hey, it's Crash Box it's Crash Box Customs on all your social media myths. Go. I'm trying to leave that there. That uh that um, picture with Hans, you could see the building had exposed rafters. Uh Bobby wouldn't be able to make it in there. He right. Got a phobia there. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, so a couple of different figures from Skull Island. I, it's kind of not. Uh, it's prototype. So who knows if we'll ever actually see that or not? I, I mean, that's uh, a very odd direction for them. Shit, man. Yeah, it's, it's not great. soft. What if it was furry? All right, so you get a John oh, Wick yeah. figure in 2019. Shout out yes. to John Wick. I actually watched this movie last night for the first time. Oh, yes. it's nice. Well, you like it? Well, I immediately knew it wasn't realistic in the first. In minutes when uh, they were at uh, the gas station in New Jersey pumping their own gas. Oh, that's a no-no. Yeah, it's, it's insurance, man. Actually, Chuck said if you're quick enough, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so this figure looks pretty dope. Um, you know, the tailoring on the coat is a bit off, but I thought he had a tie in the. Whoa! Earlier. I think there is a tie. Is that is that out to the right there? Was oh, he wearing a white shirt too in the movie? No, does he have a tie? It's hard to see if he has a tie. He, he has wears a white shirt and a black shirt. It's been a while since it's seen. It. Yeah, no, the tie is there. You're right, Dust. It's just really hard to see it. Yeah. Um, they show some of the more of their horror stuff here. Here's um Jason, right? <laughs> yep. From one of the movies. And I don't who is this? Anybody? Next. No? Dan? Is. is that who it tell, is? They'll tell us in the chat. Okay, it's, it's something a generic look. I mean, this could literally be the generic army build ninja guy. So you get a Michael Myers. Uh, they actually showed this. Did they show this last year? I don't know. They've shown this. They did a good time. job making it look like a mask and not just painting the neck right. down, you yeah. know? Yeah. Another shot of Clockwork Orange and uh, getting Ash from Evil Dead 2, the chainsaw hand. Oh look, Popeye is. <laughs> I remember we were talking about that yeah. this year. <laughs> and then they're doing. Uh, they're doing Who's that guy. Mezco's doing Ghostbusters. Mezco's is doing. That's the warden from Oz. Yeah, that don't look yeah. like him at all. They said that guy is a uh, danger diabolic. All right. So um, they're doing all four in Slimer. There they are. Uh, rumor has it this may be a box set. Damn, Ooh. I have Mezco collectible. I mean, I have Maddie collector. Once, but 
These look nice. Yeah, these yeah, do look nice. Yeah, they don't look too bad. I mean, Winston, Winston is the only one a little off. off. Yeah, because yeah, he looks a little, he's, he's too thin a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's anorexic. He looks like the fucking... They uh, should have used the... That's the some Dave, Dave Chappelle could, of the <laughs> Ghostbusters. You could just swap Ray's face with his. Then, yeah, that's what oh. they should have. I mean, Ray was kind of fat too, but... That's yeah. some Twinkie. Twinkie, Twinkie. That's a um, here's a Joker 2.0. Basically, the, this same generic figure came out last year. Without all the accessories, uh, so now they're pumping it out with accessories. Here is a uh, version twenty-seven of this Batman mold. Um, That's the same one that we saw earlier. No, it's a different, that, like, uh, last year. And there's another one coming out too. Yeah, and then they did. I don't know if there's. I don't think there's a picture in here. They did a Toy Fair exclusive, bla- all blacked out. And like they did the Punisher last year, they did a like I think fifty that of them. Like, is this like a Bob Kane throwback to like the original? Kind of. But they're like, modern, like that? yeah, a little modernized, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a, the Catwoman figure that they're doing. I couldn't tell if Chris just yelled at me or not. I don't know. Oh, didn't you? Kind of, kind of. I know a guy that looks like that guy, but I don't think that's him. No. <laughs> um, here's another version of that Batman. This is the modern version with the. This looks a little better. Yeah, I that like one that. Looks different head. Cool. The different head. That cat looks pretty good that. too. Chris, yep. put me put me down for this one. When it comes time, I will definitely do it. Oh, um, axe, axe the bat, the the Batfleck one. I'm out. Oh, it's too late. It's already ordered. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, here really? is the um, I don't know what are they calling this one, Dan? A steampunk? Not steampunk. Life modern. Jacket. I don't know. I kind of dig it. Steam I've got boat. a few things to say. One, this Joker looks like he'd be a part of Griff's crew in Back to the Future too. Okay. And second, what's up with the fucking Powell and Peralta logo in the back? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice catch there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're uh starting on our lantern lantern core from Mezco here. It's pretty that looks cool. cool. I feel like their cloth suits like lend themselves better to this. To this, a John yeah, Stewart like, like what, like what, like it's one piece, like a one. Yeah, piece? it just seems like that's yeah. what a lantern suit would look like, <laughs> right? Although yeah. the paint on it's a little weird. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, it's uh, it's dark side. Yeah, um, dark. holiday eighteen, Dan. I know you're excited. Wasn't Damn, that announced a like a wow. year and a half ago? Yes, yes. it was. Yeah, Chris, move your cursor. Jesus Christ! If you would please, thank you. Sorry. Just on the faces. Yeah, it looks like he's got a light up eyes feature, which is pretty cool. Or like this shit looks good. I think that Superman looks good too. I'm just dark a little Superman. concerned, like if he really has to move around much. Is Gert, is Gert, is Gert's come up? Hey, dark side, your balls are showing. I think he's your, a your yam bag is out. <laughs> you want some pennies for your coin purse? There's a uh, Batman Beyond, which they they had shown before, but <laughs> that's going taking the Batwing to the next level. There you go. Speaking of Batwing, Batman, Batman Beyond, actually a uh, pretty sharp looking figure here. And then their Justice League lineup. Um, so you got Aquaman, uh, man. Tactical Bats, <laughs> Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Flash. And I think these all look good. Yeah. Oh, God, those fucking glasses. Except for the Superman suit, but we Wonder Woman does not. You, Wonder Woman's you guys are going to have fucking hella pre orders. Hella. Hella pre orders. That's the official I number. Think, I think the Wonder Woman's face is too wide. Well, doesn't Mesco take their sweet ass time with this shit? Yeah, <laughs> literally. The, and the then dark side was announced a year and a half. So we got ago. five five years worth of figures right here. And then they'll release twelve things at, in a month. Oh wow! These are not, um, not the things six that inch want. figures. These are six inch figures. Yeah, these are cool. I think these are better than what the fucking the official DC is putting out. So here's the Nightmare Batman. That is a Mezco exclusive. <laughs> if, you you have, oh, if you don't have your, you don't have if you don't have yours ordered yet, yeah, holla at your boy, um, because they are sold out. Um, this is supposedly coming out first quarter, but we'll see what's happening. Here's the um, Netflix wait, Punisher. Wait, wait, I got a question about oh, that Batman. Was, was that Batman? They weren't. They weren't going to do that Batman at some point. Like they had changed their mind, and then right, and right. Then they decided, or uh, you know, the fans yeah, they, wanted it. Yeah, they did a limited run on on their website. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, moving on here to Netflix Daredevil from Mezco. Looks pretty good. Yep, looks cool. And then uh, Dan's wet panties bring us to the uh, the uh, Mezco Punisher that looks like Josh Brolin. 
That's I'm getting, my, getting my Punisher Max Mezco. I'm good with yeah. that. The and you get a pre-order, and you get a pre-order, and you, yeah, and get, a you pre-order. get a pre-order. And then there's the um, like original suit Daredevil from the TV show. The that's some fucking kitchen scrubbing gloves. Yeah, that's what it is. Up to his elbows. So that well, looks like a blind man take that picture. I can't wait for the Defenders version where he has a scarf on his face. There you go. Um, here is Thor from Ragnarok, still <laughs> pending final approval, yet they say it's coming out this summer. And then the Hulk. The Hulk is going to be next, isn't it? So like, like, yeah. And then the yep. Hulk. Yeah, see, that's that Hulk's cool looking, which is pending uh, approval. Yeah. Oh, they don't show him with all his his helmet and his weapons. Oh, this is new. This is Hella. Oh, in a Green Lantern uniform. With the Green Lantern uniform with the shoulders cut out and the big old hat. Head looks a little bobble, bobbledy, yeah, bobbledy, that bobbledy weird but weird to me. But, but maybe Kate Blanchett kind of has a bobble head. No, I think it looks good. Um, yeah, here's all the guys co have bobble heads, it feels uh, like. Not as much as that. Maybe it's because it's a, the neck. I don't know. So here's um, Spidey. Uh, it actually just came out. So Iron Man again. Flying through the air like only Iron Man can do. And here's their Black Panther, which looks really good. I don't know. I, I think in nah, the look at, area, that look looks at terrible. The, his necklace thing. What's going on there? It's molded yeah. into his neck helmet thing. I don't think this looks good. I don't like it. Is this the this is the one that glows in the dark? Is it? No, that's a Hot Toys figure. Oh, that's right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think in just the crotch area. I mean, not that I'm staring at the dude's dick, but it just doesn't look like it's right. Hmm. Hmm. Same thing you said about the hot toys, by the way. Um, here's Blade. Not quite sure if that's Wesley Snipes, but it looks kind of like Wesley Snipes. So like, we're going to do a favor because you're not going to pay taxes on it anyway. So we're just not going to use your face. There you go. You know, this might be the one from the TV show. Either way, it looks good. TV uh, show? There was a TV show? A Blade TV show? So. I'm pretty sure. Mm, yeah, Sticky, Sticky Fingers played them. Really? Yeah, from Onyx, yeah. When was really? this? Yeah, it wasn't too long ago. Not not too long ago, like a couple years. I must have been under a rock for that one. Um, keeping in the Marvel lane, there's a cable coming. Holiday 2018. That, that might be tempting. Oh, yeah. The fucking dude that fucking I kicked out nah, of the place. Still dude. salty posting shit. Where is he posting shit? Back, he's still running his mouth in that fucking other group. It doesn't no, matter. That other group doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, Shout I'm out put, to the rules. I'm putting it to rest right now. <laughs> Got out to the rules. I wish I was in that group just so I could pay attention. Anyways, cable here. Um, and here is uh, Cyclops. Jim Lee and Cyclops. Uh-huh. I'm not so sure about this one. The pants, man, look weird. Well, I don't it's all like that the lining. All that gibberish going on. If they just made it a blue suit, would have been okay. And who knows? They might take all this stuff off. But uh, homecoming homemade suit Spidey. They had uh, they had shown before but there there it is in living color and uh good. old man logan looks comic good. comic version comes with the hulk baby anybody who's read the is that what's on the back you just can't see it yeah this the hulk, the hulk, hulk, baby. The hulk baby in it yeah and here's homecoming spider-man um in the stark suit for lack of a better term and dr strange with the rubber gloves. With the rubber gloves. Dude, I think the... that's the perfect fucking like dio if you just did that a little bit better, but with like the bookshelves on the back and him floating off the stairs. Nice. That Go ahead and put dope. your I put your order in today, Jeff. Oh, yeah. And that is Mezco. Some good yeah. stuff there. I'm I'm glad they uh didn't like bombard us. I mean, maybe they did for some, but like most of this, it was nice just to get a f- a few really good ones, and then the rest is stuff I can easily pass on. Right. So, saying. just a little bit of Power Rangers stuff from Tamashi Nations. Uh, news broke actually during this show that Bandai has lost the license for um, Power Rangers. Now, is that just in the states, or is that period? It's uh, in the states. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was listening to Nerd Out today. They uh, they said that it it's only so, in the states. So Hasbro Hasbro's picked up the license in the state. <laughs> So apparently they're still going to be making the stuff and importing it uh, from Bandai. So they're doing some digital face scans and printing that doesn't look great. Um, here's a Green Ranger, Tommy, um, everybody's favorite 
in the face. I don't know. It's just like who's making this? This is SH Figure Arts. Cause they already released all these, so they're just redoing them. They're re- making more. Them? Yeah, the 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 first ones didn't have faces, right? I think just no. Like, they, yeah, those have permanent helmets. Yeah, they look like bobbleheads. Cause I got the White Ranger, who will be on sale again. Right, um, and here's um, NJCC. Here's the um, sad faced Red Ranger. And he's like, you can't make me drink my milk, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at that. That's just it's, that doesn't even look like him. That doesn't look anything like no him. No one you. Yeah, some more That's shots of Tommy. So <laughs> a couple shots here of the uh of the different I don't somebody help me out here. I don't even know what these are. Dragon, dragon Zord. Zord. There's little hands on that fucking dragon zord. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> All right, um, and that's Power Rangers. So just a little bit from there. I know we got some Ranger fans in the realm. Moving into figure arts, uh, the somebody there it is. Okay, yeah. Here's um, so Ken and uh, Sakura. We saw these teasers the other day. They're gonna be badass. Uh, yep, good looking figures. And someone else explain. Majin Buu. So funny thing is uh. Tamashi Nations, they just announced that this guy is coming out in August. So that's fucking awesome. Oh, wow. I know this is the, I, I caught this part of Plastic Fanatics Live, I think, where Jane was talking about it didn't Ooh. look like, was it Jane oh. that was saying oh, it didn't look like it was connected? Yeah, right there. Yeah. And then even in the arm, it looks what like, the fuck like, is just... that thing? <laughs> Dude, in the original, remember in the original prototype for this, it had it had four yeah, Tamashi had, like, stands like, holding oh, it. Oh, we we uh, blew Marvel Legends, that. but we spent 20 minutes on this. <laughs> No, we've only just, we we just got here. Yeah. I'm only 20 seconds. Come on, come on. Easy. Come Here's on. a Master Yoshi. No, He's Master Yoshi. Dude, I, I say it every time. I wish I liked. I, was, I wish I liked the show. I like the way all these figures look. I think so. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Chicks, I don't know her name, but she. Look, hang on a minute. Don't tell me yet. She looks horribly out of place in this world. No, nope. yeah, I agree. Well, she. Well, kind of is. But she's I mean, not. She's her design. Something. Her design looks horribly out of place. Yeah, this one she she never sported this design in the show, but it was like kind of like an end credit slash like cover of the bonga or something like that. And what's her name? It's her Bola. Bola. It's on her shoulder. Oh, it's because of her eyes. It's like she has. It's hard to tell when Chris keeps the fucking <laughs> yeah, you know, the, say, yeah. <laughs> the cursor. Move your cursor, bro. <laughs> there you go. And then here's this guy, Majin Vegeta. Vegeta. Okay, he's got on a blue outfit. And then here's this guy, Goku Black in his rose form. So it wait, what? Is, so this is like when Luke Luke goes to see Vader, right? So no. it's, I'm not quite sure how it all plays out. Cause it's kind of convoluted, but essentially another person took over the main protagonist's body and just started wreaking havoc. No, all right, that's not what happened. Did you not watch Super? Wait, okay, no, no. Now I want to hear your explanation. You tell me what happened. Uh, all right. The the guy from the other, I forgot what the Kai from the other universe may uh, wished from the the Dragon Balls, the Universal Dragon Balls, to uh, for a clone of Goku, and then trained him um, to be evil. That's not right at all. It's, oh it's, really? Because I saw I saw the show. The, Did you? Yeah, it's yeah. the same Kai. It's the hey same guys, dude. it's from a he's from a different universe, and he took over Goku's dead body. Hey, dude, hey somebody in the chat just either say J Ruse or or Dan and tell us who's right. All right, moving on yeah. here. Who's this smiley guy? So, so James that's is Dan. Goku, that's the good version. Good Goku. Yeah. Who's this guy? Frieza. That's Frieza. Yay! I win. Who Sunday go. Heat said he's right, Dan. I'm gonna Who's right? Jay Ruse is right. Jay Ruse is right. So here's their entire display. It's actually a pretty cool setup. I had no idea that dragon was that small. Holy shit! I know. I feel like that's kind of. I mean, I don't know how big it's supposed to be, but I think it would be bigger. Is okay. this the god? They're totally changing the subject. Is this like a life-size Gods of War dude back here? Or is that a cosplay? No, they don't do. They don't have cosplay. Of this. It's got to be like a. No, life-size. Is that a Harley? The one-on-one one scale, scale, yeah. Because they oh. did Harley. Damn. Yeah. Shout out. Wow. All right, moving into some DC stuff from Figure Arts. Here's the I'm too short, so everybody tears me apart and rebuilds me Batman. Um, Wonder Woman, these are out. Uh, there's their Catwoman that is not out from the uh, Nolan trilogy. I just watched that today. Yeah? Wow. Really good. 
It's, the more I watch, that, you, you let, let, it, let, it, let it go a little bit. You watch it again, it gets better. There's some Justice League action here with Cyborg. Yeah, see, I and, think that Cyborg looks good. Yeah. And the uh, super, super stretchy pants flash over here. A couple more shots of them, and you get your uh, darker blue version of uh, Superman with a wired cape. Always nifty. And this is their twenty dollar line, right? No, these are oh, this this is is figure arts. <laughs> oh, okay. These are, figure arts. <laughs> these are your sixty. I heard wired cape, line. and I'm like, "There's no way." <laughs> I feel like that Aquaman. Uh, maybe that Aquaman looks shitty. Something's bad off. There's a paint app bad on the face. And the whole it thing's is, bad. It's just yeah. the bright lights, especially compared to that. Was the Mezco the one that we just looked at? Yeah, yeah, that one looked really good. Um, so here's Tomashi Nation's digital coloring technology brings fruition a new world of action figures. Brings through it. So this just has a little thing explaining how they're doing the, the digital coloring and, and doing the faces and stuff. Um, here's some stuff we've seen before. Um, they're uh, Joker and Batman, Ninja Batman and Demon King of Sixth Heaven Joker. Pretty wild stuff here. Um, I don't know. Doesn't say how big these are, but Jame, are you in for this? Uh, no, because this kind of kind of Barnes and Noble, and I have like thirty or forty percent off. Sure, why it not? reminds me of Play Arts Kai. Yeah, yeah, me too. A little bit. Yeah. That's why I asked. It's kind of the style. James, like, don't be insulting Play Arts. Yeah, Kai. yeah, they're not. They're yeah. not <laughs> nowhere no. near as in depth as uh, right. Play Arts Kai. So <laughs> um, that like a dumbed down version. King Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I believe some of this is out already. Oh, Lord Shadow Keeper, Dan is right. Eat a dick. Yeah, Ooh. but you're right. Eddie right. G, Dan is right. Junior, huh? say something. We're Dan still on that, right. huh? Uh, so, okay. so I was I'm right about him using the. Shut the fuck up, Danny. I, hey, this I, was I, a long time. Oh, oh, oh. Now. I was right now. about use, him using the Dragon Balls. No. To, oh, yeah. to do yeah, it. I didn't disagree with that. Now That's we're cool. talking about the movie Realization Marvel line right here um, Captain America. Uh, Dan like, hey, Ruse, go get your fucking shine box. I hate all of these. Hey, Eddie, eat a dick. Did I say Dan? I said J. Ruse. Oh, I heard Dan. My apologies. Oh, then eat a dick. Oh, okay, anyway. take it back. Still you to eat I want to. I want to. I want to. Apology, Jesus. guys. Fucking shut up, so we can get through this. <laughs> hey, you guys would debate. argue about your dog <laughs> dick sizes. I think. Jesus. All right, Star Wars. We love our pets. Chris, we like our pets. We love them. It's fine. Those right. realizations lend themselves way better to the Star Wars line they than they do. do to the Marvel. I completely, I completely agree with you there. So there's the, uh, there's the figure art soap studios. Um, we've seen some of these images before. We'll look at them again real quick. So here's their promo images for their Bruce Wayne and uh, Ra's al Ghul League of Shadows set. I actually pre-ordered this. Um, they had two versions. One was 130, and one was 200, and one of them came with a bunch more stuff. So special edition includes the sculpted masks and, and extra extra weapons and what. These are six see. inches too. These are six inches as well. Dude, I so want to put a lightsaber in Bale's hand. There Just you go. Let's do it. Um, here is the their one uh, twelfth arrow from season one. Their Oliver Queen sculpted head and father's note and book holding hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, get him! Hey, <laughs> I wonder if his coat comes off. That's all I'm gonna say. It says black book. All those chicks. All the people well, that know his identity are in there. Yeah, remember the I'm Oliver Queen. You know, the whole I, I was on an island, fell in the water, and farted. Anywho, here's all his other accessories. Yeah, I, I hope what do you guys think about this? just looking at these images, what do you guys think about these figures? A, a, a soft from soft good opinions, what do you think? They're okay. Okay. They're they're a fairly decent representation of the characters. The weapons look cool. Here's their flash. This is probably their best looking one. Well, never mind. Nope, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> uh. He looks like a red slee stack. Yeah. <laughs> so here's um here's their their display. All right. So what they have on display is yeah, they've got a Bane, they've got a Batman from Batman Begins. They've got those two. Uh, Bruce Wayne and Ducard and uh, the Arrow and Flash. And oh, look, his fucking hand is gone <laughs> on Bruce ready Wayne. For Star Wars, Brink. Jesus Christ. So uh, Ducard seems to be holding together pretty well. Um, Batman's got some sort of ankle trouble here. 
And Bain has been hanging out with the uh, – what was the guy's name that was the coach from uh, – on Happy Gilmore? Who was his coach? <laughs> what was that guy's what name? What was this guy's name? Anyway, tap, tap, and tap. That's what he looks like. These hands are fucking horrible. Why so, the fuck am I on timeout in the chat? Fuck Chubb. you guys. Somebody in the chat's going to say it. If what was that dude's Chubb, name with Chubb, the face? Chubb, the way he boasts too quickly. Chubb, it'll Chubb, give that was it. Chubb. He's, got, <laughs> he's got Chubb's his hands. Um, I've seen other pictures of this figure and it looks really good. I don't know what happened. I mean, it's kind of it kind of sucks for them that their prototype fucking broke and nobody came and got him and told him to fix it. Um, but it also kind of sucks that they showed up with a broken prototype. But anywho, it's really disappointing for this line that I like that arrow. Go back to that picture of the flash. That arrow is just pointing. Like, Look at how shitty this leg looks. <laughs> <laughs> There's their um. I mean, you can see right here whatever's going on here. They look like they got this shit glued on. I don't know, man. Why are you going to shove something <laughs> like this half ass? I think that Batman though looks okay. Like it, I think the concept it, of it is pretty cool. It looks okay. That's about as far. I mean, it goes to the point like where you get the prototypes that are painted with that glossy paint. You know, just yeah. so they show a painted version of it. How much are these things? I'm trying to get it to it. Um, I, like basically a piece or something. Six, oh, wow. Six, two hundred dollars a piece. Wow. I mean, they're in the Mezco pocket, basically. Yeah. yeah. Soft goods. Six inch. Joe Harker um, said these dolls are trash. <laughs> <laughs> and he James, is right. <laughs> James, James, are we? Uh, you think Soap and Star Ace are the same company? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so here's some Star Ace stuff. That's this is going to be six scale. Um, they do. They have the Harry Potter license, and apparently they're doing some. I don't know what. what that doesn't look are, anything like Emma Watson. No. Here's uh, which flash? Yeah, is this that the same flash, or is this a different flash? They're doing a one six scale flash. They're also doing three hundred. They're also doing the matrix. You can see his rib cage through that. Look at that shit. Yeah, that shit sucks. So that's Soap Studios for you. Womp womp, the big womp. Um, Soul of Chigokin had some new stuff. Uh, Pacific Rim, Soul of Chigokin. These look, uh, look pretty dope. Any Voltron? <laughs> no, no Voltron. Everybody drunk. They don't have the license anymore. But this is all from the first movie with the second movie coming out in like a couple weeks, right? Or... I would imagine you're correct. This Actually, I think cool I think man. I think D Amazing got these. Or got an early copy of these to review. Um, yeah, you got a few. He has them up on his channel. Yeah, so these are these are pretty dope. I mean, uh, um, ooh, that's a good looking. Not a huge there. fan of the line, but I mean, yeah, of the movies. Chris. But just for big ass fucking robots, they're pretty dope. Robots? Is that a tongue robot depressor? But what? He's got a tongue depressor there. Maybe it looked mm -hmm. like it was like a torpedo that he had. <laughs> a torpedo. Yeah. Yeah. So anywho, that's it for that. They yeah. didn't have a whole lot apparently. Just uh. Some so a uh, little bit of uh, Pacific Rim. So James, this is James' channel right here now. Um, so I don't know who this is, James. Anybody? She's a character from Xeno Gears. In All right. The, um, or some I don't know. Is this also from Xeno Gears? Yes, Fei Wong. All right. And this looks I like the way these look. These are from uh, Kingdom Hearts. I'm assuming. Yep. Yep. This is the Christmas Town store. I think these are the Bring Arts line. So it's yeah, their uh, six inch scale okay. with uh, Riku. That Riku looks really good. Is this also from Kingdom Hearts? Yes. It is. I, I don't know anything about that game, but it seems so, to to me being ignorant of the product, it just seems so bizarre that these Disney characters are all mixed up in whatever the hell's going on. Please don't take time to explain it right now. But It's confusing as fuck. Well, it's just. They're saving the world's universe. So this is James. Tell me, tell me, tell me more. Uh, Marvel variants is coming out with a Cyclops. Um, okay. It's by Hitoshi Kondo. So it's their own take on the character. It's not supposed to depict any type of comic book representation. But um, it looks cool. Pretty good. So is this the same guy that name you're out of office? He the one that's doing that Joker that's super expensive from them? No. No. That's a different designer. That's the guy who designs the uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. Now this, you're on this too, Jabe? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is really dope. Yeah, I was saying that. That's cool. Right? It looks pretty dope. I mean, that is. That you blast can, effect is cool as fuck. Yeah. Very original. Yeah. 
I dig it. I really do. And it always... works too. It's just not. It's not like so extreme, you know, where it doesn't work. Like you could see, yeah. like you could see how it could it could be right. where he existed in. Yeah, it comes with his stand and everything as usual. Um, game. It's a Bring Arts uh, Bahamut. Oh, from Dread. Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy. Oh well, I should have just gone to the next one. Bahamut sounds like an island I want to go to. One forty nine seems like a decent price for that thing. Looks huge, you know. Big wingspan. It doesn't yeah, seem like it's that. Yeah. A lot of paint. And this is uh, Dirge of what is this? Final Fantasy. Final Sombra. Fantasy. Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy Seven. It's uh, Dirge of Severus. Is this a play arts? Yeah, play arts guy. That's, That's pretty dope, too. man. Yeah, I like too. the way they do their uh, their prototypes, like where they, where they have like that shaded gray or whatever. Oh, you like this this color gray? Yeah, I just I would, just like the way it looks. There's would you just... buy Would you buy the figure if this was it? No, but I, I just <laughs> I don't know. I'm like it. I wouldn't. I don't know. I kind of like it. Uh, some more Kingdom Hearts stuff. Sora. The Kingdom Hearts. Like the main it's the on the Kingdom Hearts that just throws me out for. Is a he little. like the main character or whatever? Yeah, he's the main yeah. protagonist. Those are Bring Hearts again. Yeah, my brother's got a whole bunch of those little uh, robot guys on order. Now, what is, it? what is it? What is from? What's it from? Near Automata or Near Automata. Or... Okay, what the hell is that? It's a video game. I kind of really dig these little robot dudes. Yeah, but I don't know anything about it. Oh, they're cool looking. Pretty cool. And then they're doing some, like looks like little pocket size characters from um... Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final it's Fantasy. I'm city. sorry. I think one of my children is being skinned alive upstairs. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, they're blind bags. In a household. Yeah. And here's. Uh, is this where we started? Yeah. No. Zach. Hey, Zach. The Sid hey, in the Zach. back? Yeah, it's Sid, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at look at look at just knowing what things are. And some shit. The That's last cool one we is. need for Final Fantasy Seven having children. Cool thing is you can mix this with your Kingdom Hearts stuff as well. There's a lot cool of Final movie. Fantasy characters. I forget the name. Is it just Cat? What's the name of this thing? Or Sith Cat? What's Sith Cat? Kate. 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 I don't think What's Sith the name of this thing? I don't remember. Oh, all right. Nope. Never mind. And uh, what the hell is this? Those are blind bags, blind boxes that they're doing. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're articul- it's not a statue, right? They're articul- yeah, they're just statues. Oh, okay. So is this, I mean, kind of, they're just stylized like play arts oh. to an extent? Is oh, that- yeah, because it looks like that one flash. What yeah. is up with Superman's ears? Go back. You can see them shits from here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that shit. It's That's Adam how we can hear so good. <laughs> so they're $20, $20 a blind box. Wow. Pricey. All right. X23 Play Arts Kai variant. Yeah, that's Looks the only new dope. thing that we saw. That looks cool. Oh, is the rest, of the rest of this not really new? No. Yeah, they did a good bit of... Um, I believe it's called. I was probably mispronounced. I think it's called xanthum xanthum shading with this to let you see all the detail. Okay, yeah, that's probably what I like about it because I seen a is that action figure Toronto when he does his tutorial. Yeah, it's basically where you, where you shoot great his, uh, from yeah. up high and down low. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, and that's how I know what it is too. Shout out to action figure Toronto. Correct. Yeah, for those of you who cook, you can use xanthum gum to like thicken sauces and soups and stuff. Just a hundred and fifty bucks, James. Is that pretty much where we're at with Play Arts Kai at this point? Yep. That's um anything that's for the variant line, yeah. And then if you're looking into the specialty stuff like the Nomura, that's a two hundred, two fifty. Damn. I mean, do you feel this one fifty? Is it worth it? No. <laughs> no, that settles that. Well, there's your uh I don't know. See, I feel like 150, like that to me looks like it's worth 150. Yeah. No. It's pretty dope. <laughs> Something not at all. What What do you think it should be? What do you think they should sell for? Um, I would like for them to go back to kind of what they were before when they were around the $80, maybe sure. 90 So is that part of the reason because you're used to paying 80 bucks for them and then they just jacked the price on you? Yeah. They, they went up pretty significant yeah fuck yeah that almost doubled so was it so was there a good quality change when the price go up i mean was there an no. actual justification or was it more so <laughs> no. just a oh, no. no no nothing they didn't do a damn thing so people are do? actually bitching more now uh with their uh paint and everything so and all right not- so 
I'm sorry, James. I didn't mean to oh, no, no. Well, they, we should, I mean, they should complain now more, especially since you're paying so much. It's like, fuck, you got to voice your opinion. Moving into Hasbro Star Wars. Um, first, we have some promo images mixed in with just the regular. Um, I didn't I didn't chop these up at all. So here's um, episode five, Leia. And then you get a Commander Wolf, am I correct? The Commander yep, yep. Wolf. Commander Wolf. So they're taking the, uh, what they do with, with, was it Rex? The first one they did, the blue guy. Ha ha. Rex Rolled Cody. That. Green. Yeah. So they've got some, they've got some miles they can get out of this mold still. You know, it's literally the same head. Uh, looks like we're getting some more um, R2 units, uh, Astromex, different variant half ass attempts at making them dirty. And then there's this dirty ass. I, I didn't quite get the reference on this. It's a dirty, dirty ass stormtrooper with a cape. The first thing I thought when I saw this, I thought they were like trying to copy like what 3A is doing, you know, because 3A does that really kind of rugged, dirty, yeah, nasty yeah, yeah. look. So I wonder if this is trying to. Maybe that's a toiler on that it, or something. Maybe it's a toiler and it's a burnt phasma. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. I don't think she survives that, and that's. <laughs> Getting a Gamorrean guard with a with a, a crotch poof. <laughs> what you guys don't know is this is this isn't clothes. This is his pubes, and he just has not been manscaping. <laughs> his nuts are just. It goes amazing. all the way around. Um, this this is the new figure from the uh, uh, Han Solo movie. It's a trooper of some kind that's got fur and robot legs. Thinking about getting robot legs. It's a risky operation, but he's pimping right there. Is this Black Series or is this? I believe this is. It is. Oh, that looks way different. I don't know. That here's here's one for dust right here. Bring the motherfucking Zuckus. Bring the Zuckus. We're getting the Zuckus. Oh look, Porgs are coming. Oh, no. Army bills. Army bills. I'm surprised bills. it didn't happen earlier. Dude, they failed oh. by not having one that was just a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this. Come Crash on. box. Crash box could make that happen. <laughs> So here's a, a shot of your lineup for the uh, Han Solo movie. I, I love the look of uh, <laughs> I know, I was just gonna of, say uh, of yeah. Childish Gambino over here. <laughs> like Lando with Childish really Gambino. Who would really have ever thought we'd have a Childish Gambino action figure? <laughs> Good for him. Out. And there's this chick who I believe her name's on her box. We'll see in a minute. This is a range trooper. Actually, that must have been the that must have been the three and three quarter earlier because yeah, he's, he's got, got the fur on it. He's got the fur on it. Here's uh, some more shots of uh, other stuff that they've got coming out. Wow, Tarkin a- comes with the uh, the torture droid. That's good. Yeah, yeah. and this this Captain Rex, I think, has digital paint on his face where the other one did not. Right. Before Is that a ray in the corner there? Yeah, that's the island island adventure ray. It's not island adventure. Island <laughs> island discovery or something, but it's a digital. Uh, it's a digital face paint. I think I think uh, a certain Bobby's girl face has a review of it up already. Um. So we're getting all the uh, Dengar. Awesome. The Dengar. There's DJ back there. It looks like they're releasing the Jawas again. You get, um, you get Donald Glover grown up in a costume. <laughs> you get you can army build your your rebels. That's, About forty two cool. of those. For your- I think you know I would be interested in getting the bounty hunters. Um, is it expensive proxy at this point? But yes, really, yeah. Uh, why? What, what's what's the harder one to get? Bo- Boba and um, IG eighty eight. IG eighty eight. Really, and the really? green face dude. Well, I guess I'm out. The lizard, the <laughs> green lizard face. Bosk. Bosk. He's, he's, yeah. he's yellow. Yellow. He, he's yeah, yellow. My fucking this, Star Wars knowledge sucks. So this uh, Black Series centerpiece. Uh, these are mostly on clearance everywhere I've seen, but this is a pretty cool one where they've got the floating uh, blaster shot that he's he's got um from episode seven it's a pretty cool it's a unique idea at least yeah this angle you can actually see how it's attached it's a couple other angles it's like it's kind of cool they're calling them centerpiece you know sure it's kind of a cool way to uh it's a it, it, it is the garbage <laughs> dust it's the centerpiece of the clearance aisle <laughs> yes, most, uh, I was gonna say. Retailers. <laughs> yeah. yeah so here's the um here's the young han solo figure and the uh, <laughs> here's your childish Gambino. <laughs> that looks Lando Calrissian. That looks exactly like him and nothing like him at the same yeah, time. It <laughs> it's a good um, balance. That yeah. girl with a dirty skirt on. I don't know her name. Anybody? Ray. Sure. 
I believe uh, the mother of dragons or something like that. Yeah, there's not much really talk about who she is. <laughs> I don't think there's, I don't think there's much information. Tell on me her though. name's Dolly Barton, and I'm probably going to believe you at this point. <laughs> a lot of fur, a lot of fur going on. Yeah, in yeah well, it's, it's, they're on they're on that cold planet. A lot of fur. Here's here's our guy. Here's our pimp oh. daddy range trooper with his robot legs and his fur. A lot of they must have gotten a good deal on bulk fur when they were building. Nah, he team. just had two foot surgeries. He's wearing those boots. <laughs> okay, that's what yeah. it is. Like it's I was saying on the James show, he looks like Prowl. Yeah, <laughs> he does. <laughs> Masterpiece um, Prowl. James, is this a just a, a toy? Is this guy? Is this the helmet in the line of say the way they were doing the? the yeah. So it's yeah. the hundred dollar helmet, basically. Yeah. The way they did the stormtrooper helmets and whatnot. Pretty cool. Oh, there it is in the box, Black Series helmet. Uh, and then we've got just we'll go through these pretty quick. There's your four of them, you know. Um, the big hairy crotch guy. Look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. What that mouth do? Oh, the look at all uh, articulated so purple that's hairy lady. Uh, that looks Holdo. Yeah. And the Zuckus. Bring the Zuckus. More Lando action. More Dingar action. More droid action. Tarkin looks good. Orkin looks very good with your Imperial Probe droid, Wolf again, Wolf everywhere, and there's your centerpiece, and boy, that just does not look good in, in that light. Yeah, it's I, always, I mean, it's, it's too it's bright. It's the flash that fucks it up. Yeah. yeah, but I still don't think it looks that bad. There's your Woody Harrelson figure. Jesus. Yes. Woody. Oh, yeah, Did you see too. him in the trailer? He had that fucking hair flapping in the wind. Yep. <laughs> bad. I like, I like old Woody. He's like a flag. Yeah, I'm going to zip through these pretty quick. I don't think there's anything hardly yet. I was walking okay, through the trailer. I saluted when I saw the hair. Flap. Dun, 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 dun. Storm collectibles. Yeah. Uh, some some interesting directions here. So pending approval for a Lobo and a Dark Side from yeah. Storm, which is an interesting angle. A new direction going for them. Dark that Lobo is like the computer from Tron. That Lobo <laughs> is bad ass. Like Sark. It looks like Sark. I'm not a big Lobo get off the fan. Pro- I- get off the game grid program. <laughs> I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big Lobo fan, but that is a that is a cool looking figure. Yeah, it looks pretty yeah. dope. Oh, there's my yeah. boy. So tech in here, we get a. I'm not gonna say it. Hihachi Mishima. There you go. Look, that listen, I can do this with my hair. If anybody That's really shit. wants to, do it, <laughs> I can I can grow it out. Grow it out, Chris. Grow it out. I don't know yes. how it would look in a business environment, but I can do that. <laughs> Typical do horseshoe look, pattern. Please, please do it. Moving on, uh, moving, that. <laughs> the Street Fighter stuff. Here's this one guy whose name I don't know and don't care wow, about. Wow, look at that ankle tilt Alex. on that. Uh, Alex? That Alex? left leg. That looks amazing. Yeah, you got some decent ankle tilt. The, the Mortal Kombat stuff. Oh, look, they're painting that one figure as many colors as they can. The updated Koro. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, that Koro is dope. And that Triple H figure is badass back there. <laughs> it's cool this company got in their own lane. Yeah. The King of Fighters stuff. Yeah, me, this bro. is uh, what's his name? No idea, but he Rugal. looks great. Rugal, okay. <laughs> yeah. Three head sculpts. So reptile and Herb I don't, I don't even know their names. There's a red one, blue. What color didn't? What color didn't they do? Pink. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I like this guy. I think this guy back here is like I really love these action figures. Um, <laughs> nothing, nothing super new there. So uh, Tekken take, take Seven, you get, uh, you get repaint wars already. Kazuya, so excited for that to see that. The cool thing about that is they they had banners of stuff that they were uh, showing off, and on the banner for Tekken they showed Hihachi, they showed Kazuya, they had a they also had a Jin, Jin and Devil Jin. So I can't wait to see those when they get the prototypes out there. Nice, and they're apparently uh, this is exciting. They got the Injustice. Uh, oh, so they got Injustice as well. Okay. And Injustice Two, so that yeah. that would be cool. And they, they got Street Fighter Five Arcade, Street Fighter Two, King That's of actually, Fighters. Sorry, I just that, can't, that, I just, Chris. I'm, sorry. I'm trying to give you information. That's actually what the Lobo and Dark Side are. They're the Injustice. Uh, oh, okay. Models. Gotcha. Dan. Yes, sir. I'm just making sure. I now, just can't. I just can't imagine this one. The King of Fire. I just can't imagine that being a big seller because I. Oh, I'll buy it. Okay, never mind. If James buying it, it's yeah. good to go. So I, I noticed they have Bluefin up here. These are the same people that do some of the figure arts designs, right? Tomashi Nation. Bluefin, so, Bluefin, Bluefin, Bluefin is the distributor. Is the, yeah. the U.S. distributor for a lot of these lines. So basically, uh, they're the okay. the way Hot Toys sells through Sideshow. This is kind of how all this stuff makes it. They're the middleman essentially. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought they were like the designers. You know how like Figma has like those. Um, no, Bluefin's just a distributor. They're based in California. Okay. They have a warehouse sale every year. You can just go buy stuff. So, well, and, and this is my favorite part of uh, of the display. It's these <laughs> cardboard cutouts that they showed of the, I'm assuming, Street Fighter uh, 2 line. Yeah. Um, some cool stuff I'm looking forward to for sure. Um, I like the dude in the background. Or a gal. I don't know. Whoever's wearing the shades. Oh, yeah. Right here. Hey, ladies. <laughs> so, um... I think that's about wraps it up. So we got dark, yeah, dark side again. That logo, that logo is dope. It's a good look. And toys is also doing the injustice, but at a smaller scale. Yeah, I saw a lot of lines are doing injustice figures. Like even Mattel, spoiler alert, is doing a couple injustice figures. Really whoring out that license. Which is weird because figure arts bombed. Yeah. (laughs) Doing theirs. Must be like, hey, well, they only did like three figures, didn't they? Must be one of those things like, hey, if they're paying for the license, might as well let her for. All right. Um, Super 7. Let's see what Super 7's got. Um, So they've taken over the reaction line. I thought thought Funko was doing it. I thought reaction was Funko. I guess they took it over because here they are. Weird. Um, They're doing uh, the uh, uh, Universal Monsters. Um, Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, Mummy, Wolfman. Creature from Black, Black Lagoon, they're offering a line of glassware featuring G.I. Joe, 8-Bit Mega Man. Dude, the Mega Man's dope. Planet of the Apes, old school. Uh, once again, the Universal Monsters. And then the Masters of the Universe line. So they're calling these 7-inch Club Skull figures, deluxe Masters of the Universe, action figures, recreating the likenesses from the classic 80s cartoon that fans have always wanted. Our friend, the Sorceress. The sorceress with um, a very sick looking bird. <laughs> a lot of legs on that bird. Man, yeah. Man E faces. Um, one of Hordak's guys. It's a sleaze tag. Tongue slasher. Slasher? I was going to say tongue dude. <laughs> Merman. Yeah, guys, look at his eyes. He just looks surprised. Like, oh, my, my favorite part of. Uh, of the toys who made it that made us or whatever it was called that show on Netflix was the guys that made He-Man basically saying that all these, all these figures were just dirty sex jokes. Ram a man. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So here's um Triclops, Triclops, Tila, Hordak, Hordak, man at arms. And then you get the deluxe classics figures. So, they're also doing a line that's literally like the, you know, old figures. These look like the real Ghostbusters villains. I know, dude. <laughs> What's up with nipple hand? <laughs> the mummy. Nipple that hand. was, uh, I can't think of his name. He was, <laughs> he was in the live action nipple movie. <laughs> I'm going to name these things. It's nipple hand. It's raps. That's what his name is. Raps. W-R-A-P. Tree face. Tree face. <laughs> and cold girl. Cold girl. Yeah. It should look cold. And then you cold get fangs. And fangs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fangs and glasses. And then look at these guys. Yeah, what's up with that red guy? I don't know. He looks mad. Um, and then they're doing the I guess they're remaking the old figures. I don't really know the point of this. It's it, yeah. You yeah, they're doing everybody in the he in the He-Man they're... universe has hip dysplasia. <laughs> right. They all do. So from riding all those horses and battle cats. Yeah, that's what it is. But uh, I, mean, I, no, I, just, I don't get it's, this. It's the vintage kind of design, but with updated sculpts. Basically. Yeah, it's kind of like what they did with the uh, G.I. Joe in the 25th. And they're giving right. us a Shira, which we never did get. I guess. And they're getting. Oh, oh look. It's Obi Wan. I'm. No. <laughs> Hello there. On roids. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Jack. Listen, this is as close Hello to Obi Wan as that fucking figure arts figure is. That's right. <laughs> and look, they're making glasses Jack, of down. everything. It looks like Obi Wan when he's locked up in the joint for ten years. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Working he comes out. up. He comes out smoking new ports and swole as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, that is your Super Seven, and I believe the last one we have here is Transformers, and um. There's a lot more Transformers here. I don't have all of it here. Once again, Plastic Fanatics, uh, this past Saturday's episode. Please tune in to that on Victory Saber 77's channel. 
you want the deep dive to all of this, um, we get the images and full reveal of Preda King. I don't think the combined mode of this thing looks terrible. I don't no, think so. I like it. I like it. It's got I don't good... think it looks terrible either. No, not for. I think the individual point. modes are kind of trash, but hey, well, if, if, if that's where the sacrifice has to be made, then that's. I think it's yeah. going to be on the lines of, of of the Debbie kit, the Debbie set that they had. So, well, you know, I don't know. Look, look, the, um, look pretty cool in combined mode, but then this when I dude, single this mode, dude looks like, like he's just coughed up a couple hair. <laughs> <laughs> Here's here's pictures of the individual um, bots. Um, but I by mean, the I way, I'll, say, also, uh, I'm ahead, sorry. Go ahead. I was no, just go gonna give a quick shout out to Antoine for murdering Toy Fair coverage on the uh, Realm of Collectors Instagram yeah. over the weekend. All these images and more are available. Uh, I won't say all these images, but all these all the coverage is there. So go check out the Realm of Collectors Instagram if you are not already following. Just. Dude, he was making posts with thumbnails, and then you scroll, and then you can get all the end of it. That was fucking... Yeah, his it's fingers are hurt. Yeah. Is it's this pro. the first... But my fingers hurt. Predacons <laughs> that have been released since the G1? Like, for, um, for official, official Hasbro? I believe so. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, cool. Yeah. That's cool. They did the Platinum series of the remakes, but nothing original. You know what sucks? Like, it's crazy, because where they sacrificed was on the fucking animal modes. Like, because the bot modes look okay. The combined mode looks dope. And those animal modes look terrible. Petting zoo. Pet, petting zoo. So I, I, I cut out a lot of these pictures. There's so much going on in these fucking pictures. You can't even tell what's what. They just literally said, hey, kids, put these figures on this just table. Just throw them on a table. Yeah, just put hey, them in, there. Hey, intern, get anyway, those boxes on But I like that, that you want it to kind of be overwhelming because otherwise then you start to notice like where they cut corners. <laughs> you know, I'm serious. Like you're just like, oh, wait a Look minute. Mirrors. You know? Yeah. But here's a here's a, the back shot. I don't know. Everybody always, everybody always wants to see what he looks like from behind. That looks so weird from the back. But and look, there's the box set. So it is a box set. I know some people were um were a little salty about it being a box set. Where are they uh, now? In, instead of the individual, listen, and listen. Let, let's be honest. It, it's it's five twenty dollar figures for a hundred bucks or however much it costs. So you can buy them. You can buy them at once. Shout out to Ollie's. Yep. Yeah, these will be at Ollie's. I yeah, can't that's wait. Why, that's why I'm thinking that it's definitely going to go the route that Debbie did with, with you know, the, the the figures looking good, but they're going to be a lot of corners cut. You know, I really I really think, you know, from a business standpoint, they must do good wholesaling these out because they keep doing these box sets. I mean, even those, you know, G2 Combiner Wars boxes. I mean, yeah, they're still floating around out there for because twenty. Dollars. They'll make the money that they want. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? And then it doesn't have to like shelf warm and stuff like that. So Those is that there... returns box that's sold pretty good too. Yeah. And I think just from a from a retailer standpoint, I would appreciate a box set more than like having shelves filled with like the one figure that nobody wants. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to you not finding the yellow line. Yeah, know? exactly. See if it was a box set, I wouldn't have that fucking problem. Hey, so hey, I, I mean. Uh, I was just going to say, hey, Jay Roos, just to let you know, Takara is not doing any special paint on these, so you don't have to worry about buying it from Japan and paying overpaying for shipping or anything like that. Jay Roos is on strike. Oh. <laughs> is there um is there any repaint potential in this mold? They do the Nero version. Yeah, they could do the Nero version. You know, they never repainted Debbie. I thought yeah, they didn't do weird. anything with Debbie either. So I, I can't believe they didn't do a yellow one. I really yeah. can't believe they or didn't an do orange one. If there was an orange one, I might have got yeah, it. I honestly, this figure is not without its flaws. You know, don't get me wrong. I but I think, man, if you collect just this regular line, dude, I think this is dope. I think the fact that you're getting this is dope. It looks, out of all the combiners lately, it looks fucking great. What have you done for me lately? There's a head, a head shot. So what's up with all these stickers? What's Man, they're really going that G1 sticker out. Hopefully, they're pre-applied too, so they're oh, yeah. So, so they'll be crooked when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, guess what? Y'all voted for this. Here's your monkey. Get off my back. Here's looks, the. Uh, here's the, the, the are you yeah. gonna step on it, Dust? <laughs> you step on What's that monkey. Beast step on it and do it. I'm definitely stepping on this monkey. <laughs> yeah, here's their beast Guerrero. It doesn't look bad. This doesn't look bad either. It's it's kind of accurate, man. The really same well. gimmick like the uh, Prime and the Rodimus that they have out. But you know, 
where the alternate figure goes into it or yeah it, so it turns out figure, it turns into a backpack for does it. this figure go into it is that what it is that's the yeah. one Oh, doesn't it kind of, doesn't it doesn't it make the safe surfboard or is that yeah, the other one turns into a surfboard is that supposed to be like is that what that suit is is it like a mech suit for prime no oh okay no, they just they just were metal. giving you a gimmick yep that's the uh super science that's cool you're getting version. two figures for the price of one all right so studio series cool. leader class blackout decepticon blackout from the movies i already have that helicopter it's the arm mode for my Zeta Toys Bruticus. There you go. Um, that's a that's a leader class. You're getting a Voyager um, Revenge of the Fallen Optimus. That so. prime looks like a crab that's lost its shell. Those are just those are just remolds, right? Just, just I don't know. I don't know. If this the, is not the blackout. It's a totally new one. Oh, okay. I don't get it. What what do they mean? Studio series like. The, the Transformers. Well, they just so make the MPs. It's like the, it's it like the Criterion Pop-Pop collection. Studio series. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not an MP, but it's a little bit better than the regular Voyager, I would assume. So yeah. Weird. Show accurate paint. So they're really getting into the lady characters here. Here's the Deluxe Class Moon Racer figure. Yeah, they Moon definitely Racer. are. You got the Elite One. You got this. You got the other, um, one, the other way. Yeah. The other bitch. Here is a Voyager class Star Scream from the Studio Series, another movie figure. Now, remind me, the Voyager figures are is that the thirty dollar price point? Twenty five. Yeah. 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 Twenty five thirty. Yeah. Okay. Dude, that star screen just makes me want to punch Michael Bay in the face. I miss Cool Ranch Doritos. This Hail Hasbro. Deluxe is shitting all over us right now. Dude, this star screen sucks. <clears throat> Here's a, a Voyager class Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. That tank is actually pretty legit. Yeah, that's, Shit, that's cool. that looks good. Yeah. Um, here's another shot of the beast. Uh, the Gorilla in the robot mode. He put his um, hands on his hips and he's got fucking guns feet. for tits. Feet. Yep. Uh, sorry, these are a little out of whack here. Um, here is four deluxe classes of the Decepticon Stinger Autobot Jazz Lockdown in Crowbar, um, who I didn't know how to name, to be honest. <laughs> Forgive I, me. I mean, I will say that they do. It is cool that they get these fucking things to transform into like these pretty clean looking all modes. Um and then the the Voyager class brawl, um, lot going on there, a lot going on. Oh, and then another lady. Here's a the Voyager class Alita one. I think we talked about already. And then an Autobot Nova Star keeping the lady action wow. going, You're doing them all, huh? Hey, yeah. lady. This is uh actually Firestar from the Search for Alpha Trion. All right. Uh, leader class Grimlock <laughs> from <right>. Age of <laughs> Extinction. <laughs> I drop some knowledge. Probably the best one they've done so far. Um, it looks different, at least. It's not gold. And then here's your Evolution Optimal Optimus. You voted for this. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. I like how the feet are the same and the legs are the same. It just. I mean, so are the hands. The only thing that's just turn it, it, Yeah, you're turning it around. Just, and just, are, are they not doing the, uh, the spaceship mode? Or have I just not seen it? Probably yet? not. I don't think they will be. Hey, so Takara is doing. Uh, oh, look, they're doing submarine mode with uh, what do they call this guy? Great shot. Great, great shot. Great That's shot. Was, the Autobot was, version was, of Six Shot. So you get cool. battle car, jet, beast, tank, robot, and submarine mode. That's right. Even in Japan, they don't want a toy of a gun, although they make one. So that's, uh, I'm assuming, up for pre-order now. It comes out, if, if I, I can't read Japanese, but the letters, the numbers tell me that it's coming out in March. And it's 8500 whatever that symbol is. It's about 80 it's bucks. Yeah. yeah. It's along with their um, Grand Max. Yeah. So it's this is, um, if I'm not Tarnage. mistaken, this is uh, Flame Toys. Yeah, it's their Flame the Toys Tarn. Version of Tarn. And then they're doing a is this a star star screen? Star screen? Oh, so, is that, that Dar Di Atlas? No, it's Star Saber from IDW. Star, I think. star Saber from IDW. So this is in the same vein as the oh. drift. They do. Oh, wow, they're really star holding on to that IDW. Yeah. yeah. Listen, this it's a cool looking figure. It does. Mm. I mean, I'm imagining all this. Anything that's clear will light up. 
Man, I really want. I'm sorry. What'd you say? How much? Well, I'm hoping it's gonna be three fifty. Yeah, yeah that's a, isn't that how much their drift was? Was three fifty? Ends, ends up being about two eighty after all said and done. You can get. I really want G one versions of these. I would. I would get rid of half my collection. Oh look. No, but that's not right. Uh, well, they're doing. Uh, there's a Star Scream here that they're doing, and there's uh, there's a Prime. Two, yeah, those are too stylized. Yeah, it's a bit stylized. Um, I don't know anything really past that. They, they remind me of the Rebel Tech a little bit, even more stylized. Yeah. And I have no idea what the price point is on these. I mean, they don't look as detailed as that that drift or anything. But I bet you can get some crazy ass poses out of them. No, I be yeah, they model like kits. They're gonna be cheaper. Oh, they're model kits. Yeah, those. Two are. Oh, look. <clears throat> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one, one forty, hundred and forty fourth scale model. Kit. Ed F in the chat says, "If I wanted a Gundam, I'd buy a Gundam." Right there, you go. <laughs> there you go. So price is to be determined. So these are. Look, that's interesting, man. Honestly, it might be. I don't know. That might be something cool to do if yeah. they're not. I mean, those of us that do stuff like this, how much would you pay for one of these as a model kit? Twenty for Robert D to buy a bag of them. I mean, I'd probably I'd probably pay fifty bucks for one of these. Yeah, that's a little rich. How big is how big is that? Is that like it's, five inches? Yeah, it's about five. It's yeah. one hundred and forty fourth scale. <laughs> yeah, it's probably five, six inches. Cool it idea. doesn't come pre painted like that. See, that's the other thing I probably mean. not. Yeah, but that looks like it's hand I mean, If it's a just... model kit, I, w I wouldn't imagine it'd be. That's a oh. sick axe, yeah. So I like it, that. Exciting MP news. We're getting a new version of Masterpiece Prowl as they continue to dig in the crates, as I like to say. So here's a comparison. First off, shout out to Cheem, as usual. Uh, G1 Prowl versus MP17. Shows the difference in the deco there. And then the NP17 Plus comes out. A little bit different paint. No words on the side. Is that... Who's yawning? That's Brian. Stay with us, Brian. Stay Come on, Brian. We're almost done, dude. Sorry. You get the uh, the blue, which I... Truth be told, all things considered, I like the blue. Um, absence of the white on the hood. So another shot here. I don't know. I think I like the original one better. Really? I just like that the side view mirrors are black. It just adds a little bit, offsets it a little bit, you know? No, I understand. I do like the blue, but not enough to fucking blue. Yeah, not enough change it. Yeah. Well, and the head looks a little bit different. Does it look like a different head sculpt? Um, no, it might be the angle. It's just the angle, yeah. Angle at the angle. Yeah. yeah, it's inversely proportional. So here we are against the animation model. Um, shout out to the Sunboat Chart, DFCon 2000. Not even the right color blue. Are oh, oh no, it's disgusting. They Fail. should remodel the head. That's more yeah. like a helmet. A little thinner. Yeah. Yeah. Come up a little bit more. I mean, it does look good if you don't have a pro If you're just starting your collection, <clears throat> I would buy this one. Do you think that's who they're going after? Or are they going after collectors that are looking for the very most accurate version? I mean, I just don't Well, if they're doing that, they course. would retool the figure. Yeah, I don't think it's yeah. worth Especially with their new, this new aesthetic that they have. Yeah, they would just. Like, that seems more like a better move they just might as well just make a new fucking prowl well you yeah. know they they could they could do some things to kind of make it more like say the iron hide and and things you know they could have taken some of these detail lines out yeah you know smoothed it out a bit because that's really what you're getting right and figured out a way to smooth this out i don't know just looking at what they've got versus you know they, they could have taken some of the detail out because that's essentially what you're getting now what if this is more money than the original it is. It's, a, it's oh, it an is. exclusive, isn't it? It's yeah, a, isn't it? No, uh, BBTS had it for eighty bucks. Yeah, what so order up? yeah, it's a. I thought it was a Tommy Mall. Whatever. Yeah, that's what it was originally supposed to be. So, but, uh, what were the original weird. ones? Weren't the original ones about seventy? 80 bucks. Yeah, about eighty bucks. Oh, they were the same. Oh, okay, my bad. Sorry. That would. That's like U.S. retail. I'm sure. Right, right. I just thought for some reason they were like five bucks more than the original or something like that. Yeah, it's not enough for me. It's not enough for me to change. I mean, it looks good. I like the blue on there. I like the red highlights instead of the the yellow on the lights. But Somebody will be selling this thing for fucking fifty five bucks. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It doesn't say, I, I like it doesn't say police sideswipe. Uh, I don't think there was enough for me for red alert and sideswipe to change. You know, the red alert I needed, so that's why I got that one and the sideswipe I don't. So, yeah. 
Mm. All right. right. Um, you know, it looks like he's coming with his. Did the original come with the can the shoulder cannons? Um, it was an exclusive somewhere through Amazon. Or or you okay. get the Doctor Woo's. Doctor Wu, Ric Flair on them. So just some more images here of that all armed up. I don't know who does that, but there he is with all his weapons. There he is with Prime. Which is forgot what he looks like. Yeah, really it. can't believe There's they have right. an MP10 Plus coming. When are we? You know when it. are we getting MP10 Plus? Yeah, you know it's coming. Yeah, uh, dude. And then they're gonna redo all the seekers. If you go back to that Prime real quick, notice how the smokestacks aren't pushed up. That's because on the Takara they won't stay up. I just I think that they that like, one of them's up, up one of them's up one of them's not. I'm glad that they actually <laughs> that, that that's actually everyone's problem. That's just mine. That's just funny. Yeah. All right. Uh, MP40 is this uh making his grand entrance into the world here? Is that what this is? Yeah. The target master, hot Rodimus. It's hot Passimus with the proper red color. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is a Toys R Us Japan pre-order? Australia. 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 Online only. Shout out to Plastic Fanatics. Right? What what character is that? Shadow Panther. Beast Wars. Yeah, I figured it was a Beast Wars. But so you won't be you won't be able to find this in the US? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Toys R Us might carry it here in the US. US yeah. I don't know. I so that it. That thing on his crotch plate, that actually is what they showed us in uh, Sex Ed Class, right? That's what the universe looks like, I think. Yep. That's With what the vagina. Like a monster space That's what with vagina the dentata looks like. <laughs> Shout out to Teeth. Yep. You seen that movie, Dan? No, I know about it, though. It's pretty It's pretty great. I was actually made here, I guess based here, too. I can see that. So we got a little bit of third party news. Um, somebody that knows what this is, please talk about it. Or Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, Insect the Planet X, Fall of Cybertron Insecticons. Is, how passionate of a, of a following does this line have? Enough that they keep making them. I mean, this is the only thing they make. This is the only thing that they make. You know what I mean? Man, did you guys hear my voice crack right there? I was like, this is the only thing they make. Puberty. <laughs> I know, dude. My balls just dropped. It's about time. Uh, the alt modes look fucking crazy, but the bot modes look cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they're fleshing this line out for sure. I mean, they keep making them, so they got to be selling them. People are buying them. Is this a three pack? They're doing them. Yeah, I think set? so. I think they said on SCU it was going to be a three pack. Yes. <laughs> If it were individual, would you get them? Pass. <laughs> yeah, uh, they look all right. And that's it. That is the uh, that is the the news that's worth telling. Once again, this was a Cliff Notes version of this. So, if you um, if you want to uh, see the full version, check out Plastic Fanatics. Yeah. From this past week. Hey, look, nobody's on camera. Let's get so, the fuck out of here. Yeah, so that was a pretty long show. Um, you yeah, know, two hours. Over. Yeah, we went fifteen minutes normal over no, normal time. Um, let's uh, let's have Mr. Brink. Did you stay awake well enough to keep tabs on who was chatting us up tonight? Oh, I certainly did. I certainly did. Yeah, I learned my lesson for sure. All right, here we go. We got uh, Rob M. KJ Smith. EE Prime 20. Chat Wingen was in here. Antoine Mega81. Thank you, sir, again for your coverage this weekend on Instagram. Uh, we had uh, Dapper Tryon, a Masterpiece of Peace, The True Star Screamer, Josh F, Ed F, Rogue War 71, Shell Former, Sunday Heat, Primacon, Sean S, Night of Rand, Johnny Y, Gita, Ralph L, Adrian A was in here, Energon Addict, Deluxe Baldwin. Um, let's see here. We had uh, Craig R. We had Brave in here. We had SS3 by Iau. Uh, let's see. Paul S. A Lord of Shadow Keeper. Jiraiya-sama 7. Cliff B. Joe H. Who's beating everyone's ass in the weight loss challenge right now. We had Frogman. Frogman was in here. Frogman. Frogman. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Frogman uh, joining his first ROC hangout last night. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he jumped yeah. on. We had a uh, 
We had a a, a live uh, liquid therapy last night. And he popped in. Awesome. And let's see, Broad D, Paul, Broad, excuse me, Brad D, uh, Paul L, <laughs> Eddie Chi is in here, Cabalta, Abraham, Corgi, Walter, uh, Marcus K, Mark 44 Prime, Paul C. We had Charles, the Angry Christian, and Chicken Fried Steak. Don't forget Jay Roos. Jay Roos is in there. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us on this extra long episode of, uh, of ETR. Don't forget, tomorrow night, a new episode of Breaking the Mold and um, Plastic Fanatics this week, right? Got bumped. Yep. No, you figure banging. Figure banging. Figure yeah, banging. Fanatics, that's the Fanatics on Sunday. Sorry. Yeah, and then Plastic Fanatics. I'm sorry. It's been a very long day. Ooh, how's that coffee? <laughs> Dude, let me tell you. Let me tell you, funny, mug. let me tell you a funny story. So our Keurig died. You know, oh like, no! Yeah, it died. And we've had it. It's probably about five, six years old. And, and listen, it gets it gets worked out good. So we finally broke down. We were actually using a coffee pot for a couple of days. And bless my wife's heart, she can make the most complicated recipes in the world, but simple things she can't make a pot of coffee to save her life. So I had to get. I love, it. I love that phrase. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. That's a that's a. Thing. Listen, a pot of coffee is not. An exact science. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I worked at retail for a long time, and every morning I was the first one there. And I made coffee every morning. So I know how to make a pot of coffee because we actually use that coffee pot. So we bought a new Keurig. Um, and it's funny, right before the show, I, I hopped out and I went upstairs. And I was gone for an abnormally long time because I walked upstairs to get a, a cup of coffee. And I normally just ask Frosted Flakes to bring me one down. So I walked upstairs and I said, I'm grabbing a cup of coffee. He's like, actually, I just made you one. But the machine did something weird. So the new machine, like, you have to, you have to, because it's weird lever on it. You have to clamp it all the way down. And he didn't. He just, like, punctured the cup or whatever. And, dude, <laughs> fucking coffee grounds went everywhere. Oh. And that's the end of my coffee, like, is full of coffee grounds. But oh. so we had to, like, put it in the, like, hose it out. And all that. anyway, so I just thought it was pretty It's funny. a crunch. A little crunch factor. It's like, those, yeah. it's a little cr- it's like those crunches in, like, an ice cream cake. You know, oh, that's coffee. the best part of waking up. Yes. With the best part of waking up, up is picking yeah. the, the grounds out of your team. bullshit you know. in your cup. That's right. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go down the line here, and you can tell the good people where you at. Brian Brink. Uh, you can find me uh, napping on Plastic Fanatics. <laughs> also, uh, Brian Brink in the Facebook groups and at Brinkweiser on Instagram. All right. Uh, young Daniel. Harvey Double underscore Dent on Instagram and annoying the shit out of Jay Roos every once in a while. Nice. Jay Roos. Uh, you can catch me on timeout in the chat. Um, <laughs> at Jay Roos on Instagram, um, sometimes on Facebook, and that's it. Jisk? You know, believe it or not, it's becoming increasingly hard to find me as I just quit 90% of all the groups I was in on Facebook. Elitist. I'm just, yeah, I just don't care. Trimming right. that. Yeah. Well, there he is. Uh, Dust? Uh, Dust Mites on Instagram. Eddie Dust Mites in the group. Jane? Uh, Victory Saber 77, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. I am Pinkerton on Instagram, PNKR10. Christopher Adam Pinkerton on The Good Book, because that's what my mama named me. Crashbox Customs on your social media. I make stuff. Uh, that'll wrap it up for tonight. Thanks for joining us. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with us. And we appreciate that. Anywhere. You could have been anywhere. <laughs> I'm done talking. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to be posting a link for uh, uh, ROC Hangout after this. If you're interested, pop in. We'll be here for a little bit. Well, I'll be here for a little bit. Usual word. All right. Peace. <laughs>